Put some respect on up, They put some up. respect on us. <laughs> Let's time. get it all in perspective. Live. Put, put some respect on it. Live, live, live and direct. Shout out to them. Shout out to YouTube. What's going on? What's good? What's good? Earners, let's go. Let's let them in the building. Let's get the party started the right way. Let's get it popping. Let's get it popping. I got that too. What? That uh, made you look. I got the LP. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna put that up. Yeah, yeah. It's in, it's in a pile over there. YouTube, what's going on? Let me check in with y'all. Yeah. Let yeah. me check in with y'all. Let's let the good people pal in. I'm here with y'all. Let's get it going, man. Greetings and salutations to everybody out there. Shout out to everybody on EYL University. Shout out to everybody on YouTube. Um, this is gonna be big, 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 big. Oh, my man, Nate. Nathan Sharp, what's up, kid? In here early. DC, what up? DMV, what up? $10 million worth of game. <laughs> big time. I, I ain't even gonna say a million dollars worth of game. Tell me <laughs> $10 million worth of game. Eight figures this time around. Yeah, for sure. Let's Let's wait a couple minutes, let everybody get in here. Feel it feel funny, man. Going live from Market Mondays all the time, do something different. It's crazy. I was about to say guidelines and read a nice. disclaimer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They be getting confused. The audience be getting confused. They come in the, in the book club. They come in breaking bread. They like, can should I raise my? Nah, that's open for them. Market Mondays is a special situation. Shout out to everybody that checks out Market Mondays, man. Greatly appreciate that. Yeah, Monday was big, man. That's a whole culture within itself. Monday was a big shout out to everybody that tuned in. That was a special one. That was the longest one ever. It's looking like the most viewed one ever. Yeah, yeah, y'all, yeah. Y'all went crazy. Shout out to y'all. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And we got a bunch of stuff out right now too. Make sure before we start one, definitely say um, shout out to Carl Pierre. If yeah. you haven't checked that episode out, man, that episode is really, really powerful episode about healthcare. It's the first episode that we've ever done about the healthcare industry. And uh, the healthcare industry actually makes up like 18% of the American GDP, like $3 trillion, something like that. Like it's crazy. So um, he just gave a bunch of game yeah, on yeah. how to get money in the healthcare industry. I feel like, like he took over the whole segment. It was just like, yo, let's just sit down and listen and take notes in our heads. Yeah, and then we went back and listened. It was like, yo, this is crazy. Shout out to everybody that hit us up. A lot of people hit us up like, yo, that was amazing. My notepad is full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carl Pierre, shout out to you, bro. Shout out to Carl, man. So if you ain't get a chance to check that out, make sure you check that episode out. And uh, make sure you check out Market Mondays, of course, every Monday. But that's also on the podcast apps as well on YouTube. So check us out on there, too. Um, we, got a lot, we got a lot going on, man. Yeah, I see some new earners in here. Dwayne, what's going on? He said it's his first one. Dwayne, what's going on, kid? Okay. Welcome okay. to the family. Welcome. welcome. Every, everybody, welcome him. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to all. Welcome to all, man. Shout out to everybody on YouTube. Shout out to Atlanta. Shout out to Memphis, shout out to South Carolina. They, they pulling in from everywhere right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heavy, heavy. <laughs> shout out to London too. Definitely, definitely big, big, big shout out to London. We're working on something for EYL University in regards to London and Africa actually. So we got a lot of support internationally in Canada and in London. Um, specifically, those are our two biggest international markets. So we got a lot, a yeah. lot of love out there. So we got something special planned for Canada and, uh, and uh, UK. Yeah, sure. shout out to Scarlett out of London. She's an EYL earner. And uh, we've been connecting. She's been giving me some some updates on what's going on out there. Although she's teaching right now. She's teaching in in, a, in a, one of the French islands in the Caribbean. So shout out to her. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this, this um, we going to, um, so for anybody that might not be familiar, we have EYL University. So for w- once a month, we do these these classes, which we call open enrollment, and it's um, open to just everybody, just the general. <laughs> she going to? Oh, uh, um, Marnie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's it's open to everybody. It's open to um, you know, the general public. But we actually do these classes every single Wednesday at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and it's different classes every single week. So we've we've done stuff like the last few classes that we had was um, how to find business partners and mm-hmm. how to find funding for your business. Shout out to Kwame Anku. And that's actually crazy Ooh. because there's only um, one person in America that's black that um, has two black um, venture capital firms. And that's who it is, Kwame <laughs> Anku. So he taught a class for us. So that's like very extremely rare. And then of course, Miss Business, our CPA, she did a class for us on how to create an LLC, um, C-Corps, difference between C-Corps, S-Corps, all that stuff like business, um, starting your business. We actually had to cut that class off. It was like two out, two and a half hours. Like they went <laughs> so and she went in. crazy. Yeah, they wouldn't let it in. So 
what we do, what we do this is that, you know, EYL University, we feel is the best platform online Easily. when Easily. it comes to education. So we have like 70, 70 past webinars. We have weekly classes every single week. We have um, our investment group on mm -hmm. Facebook, which includes uh, our, our book club, movie club. Crazy. Headed up by you. Yeah, that's the, that, that's the situation, man. Everybody in the book club, like I said, it's, it's become its own entity in itself, man. It's a book club, it's a movie review, it's a history class. It's all those things rolled in one, man. And it's been incredible, incredible feedback from everyone. So if you haven't joined the book club, we're gonna start our next one in about a month. We're gonna be doing Money Masters again. We're gonna break that down into chapters. The next uh, club will be a movie and we're gonna release that probably later tonight, if not first thing tomorrow. So make sure y'all join. And if you don't know, we got some more breaking news alerts coming that, uh, at the end of, of tonight um, to help get you navigated through the process of getting into these, these, these avenues, these clubs and, and uh, breaking bread sessions. We're gonna help you with that, all right? Because we know a lot of people are coming in, a lot of the uh, the new earners are new, so. Yeah, we can talk, we can talk about it right now. So now? yeah, so we doing, uh, we got the book club, we got the movie club, and then we do bi-weekly real estate calls mm -hmm. with MG, the mortgage guy. And then something that I started, um, everybody knows I'm a financial advisor, or you might not know, I'm a financial advisor by trade. So what's happening is that I was putting my calendar online and then it was just too much for like consultation calls. And then I was just, it was just for EYL University members and that became too much for industry. So I'm like, you know, a lot of people just had similar questions. So I'm like, in my brain, why don't we just have like group conversations and then we can just tackle all of this stuff yeah. in one or, you know, two hours. It lasted like two and a half <laughs> what hours. You said one? <laughs> yeah, it lasted like two and, and a no half way. hours. So that's every month. Every month we do a financial planning call. So it's a whole community that we built. And um, yeah, we're real proud of EYL University we're putting um, a lot of attention and a lot of resources into it. So what you said, as far as, you know, improvements that we make into the platform, we um, work on a syllabus, mm -hmm. work on an app. Yep. We have a, a welcoming meeting. So every yeah. month we're gonna have a welcoming meeting for um, new members to yeah. kind of show them around how we, to- We're gonna treat it just like school, right? When you when you come onto a college campus, the first thing you get is might maybe a syllabus, right? And right after that, you go into freshman orientation. So we're gonna have orientation. EYL orientation is gonna happen once a month. The first one is gonna be, October 13th, October 13th. If you're a new earner, circle that in your calendar. It's gonna be October 13th. It is a Tuesday at seven. Um, and so we're gonna help you navigate through this whole thing, man. I know when you come into a new school, sometimes it seems overwhelming. And so we understand that. So we're gonna help you navigate through that and show you everything you need to know step-by-step step to make sure that, that you are acclimated to EYL University so that you can become a success as fast as possible. Yeah, we feel we got blue magic, man. That's a just, fact. Just like Frank Lucas, it's the same product Like we got. We feel like we got the best product at the lowest price. Um, price is going up, actually, but <laughs> we got the best product at the lowest price, and we we never afraid. Like a lot of times, like people have programs, and it's like a mystery. You got to pay ten thousand dollars, and then you don't even know what you're getting yourself into. It's like you could be like get out, like you know what I'm saying, like in a basement somewhere. But we like that's why we do these like once a month to like show you this is this is an open door policy. You can view it for yourself. You can actually see what goes on inside EYL University. If you like it, you can be a part of it. It's yeah. a whole community that we have. So we don't have nothing to hide. We show you, we show you our work firsthand. Yeah, that's it. If this was Wall Street Trapper, he would say, you put it on your tongue. <laughs> you, can taste it. you can taste it. So, so yeah, we're gonna get to it. We're gonna we gonna bring my boy in. He said he's here. He um he's ready. But um before we start, so as we as we said, uh, you know, the price of EYL University has has only gone up because we added more value. We had we got and workers and things of that nature. So what's good, bro? What's up with you, bro? Ain't nothing, man. I'm glad you can join us, man. I'm gonna let you jump on in one minute. But I was just telling the people that you know the price is going up. We look at it like a stock. When we first started EYL University, it was ninety nine dollars mm -hmm. a month a year for the whole entire year. Derek, that's crazy. And that's then it went, love, bro. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And then it went to one fifty. It went to two hundred. It went to two fifty. And we feel like you know the people that got in early. They like people that brought stock early, like they get to reap the benefits because they're gonna be paying that price every year going forward. So right now with the discount it's $300 and um, that ends midnight is going up. So it's only gonna go up. It's never gonna get cheaper. That's one thing we can promise. So, you know, we, we have this open door policy. If you guys like what you see, if you're interested, um, the code is fall. You can put that in the YouTube. Yep, I'm putting it yeah, you put it in the YouTube. You go to EY University, enter the code fall and it's, it's $300 for the, for the whole entire year with all of this stuff I just named. So. Derek, Derek, without further ado, I'm glad you can join us, bro. It's always a pleasure when we connect. Likewise, baby, bro. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, yeah, man. I see you had a you had a busy day today, huh? Yeah, yeah, bro. I, I just literally hopped off Keys. Uh I, I had to step in there and speak with Keys, uh, Keys students and whatnot and came straight here. Okay. Yeah, shout out to Keys. That's that's alum, that's fam. 19 Keys. That's that's a good brother, man. Shout out to him. 
Yeah, man. Shout out to 19 Keys. Yeah, man. I saw you I saw you working out, man. I, I right, love you, it. You get you get oh, healthy, you get healthy yeah, man. Bro, bro, I got my I'm eating, I got my juices here. I got plenty of water in there, bro. She be she be slaving me out there with the exercise. Yeah, yeah. I saw you go on your run. I seen you doing your push-ups. I said, I right, my boy getting ready. Nah, man, you looking you looking you looking healthy, man. Appreciate it, bro. Looking healthy, bro, for sure. So I I don't want to hold the people for too long, man. Derek, you probably already know who he is. If you don't know, he's a superstar entrepreneur that's been killing the game. And um, I just thought like once a once a month, we when we do a class, we do like different topics. But once a month, we do business mastermind class where we bring people on that have high level of success in business and just ask them questions and um, you know, just kind of break it down and break down the business model. And I feel like that's extremely important because it's like, how often do you get a chance to speak to a millionaire? Or how often do you get a chance to speak to somebody that has reached an extreme level of, su of success? Yeah, we, gotta average... we, we gotta correct that, multi-millionaire. Well, I'm just saying, yeah, that's definitely a fact, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? So I want this, this is something that I, I'm really happy we can have because I feel like a lot of people, you know, it's always, it's, it's discouraging to see sometimes because I put the post up and everybody was like positive comments, but it was a few negative comments like, well, what does he do? Um, and they like, there's no way he making that much money a month. He, it might've just been one good month. And, and I'm like, people still stuck in the, in the old way of thinking like, you gotta have a store or you gotta have like a physical brick and mortar to make money. And I'm like, I don't think that they fully understand. They don't fully appreciate e-commerce. That's really what it is, it's e-commerce. And it's like, you know, they, they was like, well, they, I, I saw it, he showed me, I FaceTimed him before, like after the episode, he showed me he made 1.5 million. And the reason why I know that it's not fake is because Budge and Easter, she's the first person that told me that she made a million dollars in a month. She she showed it, she showed it to us. Yeah. She was on our show. The that was other like day. the back to back episodes too. Yeah, she was on our show, um, Market Mondays this Monday. She talked about her, her business is gonna make $10 million this year. And it's gonna make probably fifteen million dollars next year, and nobody batted an eye. They're really the same. Mm -hmm. The only difference is that Derek is, you know, has a lot of tattoos <laughs> and, and, and guns and things of that nature. So unfortunately, they might they might not look at it the same. But he's a businessman. He's a it's 1, legit. 000. Like you know what I'm saying. So I think that a lot of times, especially in our culture, we gotta stop thinking like. Oh, they trying to run a scam or something like nah, he's making money. Like he yeah. he's showing you the receipts. Like he's making money. And, and on top of it, man, we we've tested the product ourselves. Like we were in the class, we taught the class. So we got to see the people. Nah, I saw it. Yeah. We I saw, saw it firsthand. How many, like, how many people was, was there? Was it like 900 people yeah. at three in the afternoon on a Tuesday? On a I'm Tuesday. like, yo, this is different, man. Shout out to you, bro. Yeah. Appreciate yes. that, bro. Thank you. So, first and foremost, man, welcome. Welcome to, to EYL University. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, bro. bro. Again, bro, I appreciate y'all having me. It's always a, uh, bro, I'm be real with you, bro. Like, y'all, I be bringing the costume out of y'all, bro. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm like, I'm be on EYM. I get 100, 200,000 views on YouTube. Let me make sure I, <laughs> <laughs> I <might> get on. <laughs> no, man, it's all good, man. So, yeah, we're going to talk about, you know, your business as far as, like, you know, like, you got a, a real eight-digit business. Like, that's, don't let that go over your head. Please like, don't. That's not common. That's not normal. So it's very rare to have opportunity to actually hear, hear from somebody firsthand. So I hope you guys actually pay attention. And I got some stuff that I'm gonna add in um, if time prevails, because I feel like just online, like I said, I feel like e-commerce is the way to go right now. Online business is the way to go and mm -hmm. people just are really, really sleeping on it. But I want to start at the beginning, D, um, before we even get into like gyms and all that, like you started in this, I want, people don't really realize you started with 2012? Yeah, bro, 2012 and just keeping the river on how I started in terms of capital. It was a young lady I was messing with outside of my supposed to be correct relationship. <laughs> but anyway, she had got her taxes, bro. And I remember losing my job and she was just like, what you want to do? And I was like, well, your auntie work at foot action. Her auntie was plugged in foot action. And I had another plug that worked in actual Nike and Jordan brand. And I was like, damn, if I had like 1500 I could I could buy these shoes from your auntie. She'd get me her employee discount and I could flip them. That at least made me a little bread. And bro, she gave me the 1500 I spent it on a stamp. I got a um, I got my situation trademark. I got I ain't know about I ain't no better with LC. I got a sole proprietorship. And then bro, I just been running ever since then. But literally started with fifteen hundred dollars and flipping the um any 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 sneakerheads on here. The LeBron nine all-stars that that's when them all-star phones came out and mm -hmm. people were really trying to kill one another to get them phone pop. Yeah. The big bangs. I seen somebody said in, in the comments, but yeah, bro, galaxy, the galaxy phones, galaxy phones, yeah, the galaxy, bro. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, got, know. 
I got the KD, the bronze, uh, the foams in. Just start flipping, bro. It went crazy. No, that's a fact, man. And all right, so how do you? Because to me, I think that the platform, like my my advice to all entrepreneurs, especially on the e-commerce, I'd love to hear your take on it. Is build a platform. It's like the Noah Ark thing. Build it, and they will come. Mm-hmm. You don't necessarily know exactly what you want to do or what you're selling at that point in time, but if you have enough followers, if you have enough attention, I guarantee you're going to make money online. The reason why I know that is because we do it ourselves right. and every other person, whether it's Mr. Two Weeks Out with fitness, mm-hmm. whether it's Derek Gray selling um, the educational platforms and the board games, whether it's um, uh, Alex. Alex with trucking and 500, all, these 500 yeah. like, all of them, they have platforms. Right. So it's like when you grow a platform, even, um, the ladies that's killing it with the tummy tees and mm-hmm. waist trainers and all of this that. This is two weeks out with the fit, with her yeah, apparel. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, killing sh- it. Shout out to Jazz out in Chicago. We come to Chicago. She made a million dollars in a month we selling um, that's a fact. some stomach wraps. So it's like people, I don't think they fully understand. Like, like I said, it's the Noah Ark thing. Build it and they will come. So when you was building your, your following, like what was like, did you automatically think, okay, I can actually monetize this or was it just, let me just build the following and just see what, how I can come up later on. Yeah, no, bro. I had automatically went to monetizing because initially I was going to have brick and mortar and I'm glad to this day. My pops was just like, he's like, look, you a new business and the overhead probably going to kill you. I don't think you really understand insurance, leasing, da, da, da. So bro, I went straight to the internet with it and bro, like, when you broke, you be real resources. So the first thing I thought, I'm like, man, what social platform is free? I'm like, oh, all of them. So I built my YouTube, I built my Facebook, my Twitter, and my IG, and just started rolling with those, bro, trying to get to sell. Not gonna lie to, I boomed when the Galaxy Pack came out. That was really like the month I started. Yeah. But I ain't sell nothing else for a whole nine months because people just wasn't rocking with what I was doing, and they just I. I had a little raggedy Yahoo dashboard website back then and it looked terrible, bro. It took me nine whole months. I got my first transaction, like, and I was shooting for the money the whole time, but I really had to kind of like self teach myself marketing. Cause I realized just blindly posting all day wasn't it. And then back then the shoe game was oversaturated. Mm-hmm. So I finally figured it out like nine months later and then we was rolling after that. So when, when you started, right, I'm, I'm thinking 2012, obviously IG wasn't what it is now. What which which was the which was the platform that that sprung you? Was it was it like my what, what were you putting on? And, and you were selling sneakers, you said, right? Yeah, yeah, no, bro. It was IG. It was IG. Uh, I'm gonna be real with you, bro. I kind of like so. Look, I had this thought back then. I was like, well, if I just oversaturate the market with my pre-orders and my sales, then like I should eventually win because people are gonna see nothing but me, bro. I had this method. I would post how many posts I would do per hour. I would, yeah, bro, I would do six posts per hour, but it would all just be shoe-related posts, like just putting people up, get your pre-orders, uh, check this shoe out, what you think of this, what you think of that. And eventually, bro, it clicked. <laughs> I couldn't stop them from buying shoes. <laughs> but no, bro, I, I really just kind of oversaturated the market. I ain't telling nobody to do that now because in hindsight, I, I think that probably was annoying and I probably lost followers just as much as I was getting it. Like, damn, if you don't stop posting this same shoe, but... <laughs> It, it took nine months, but it eventually worked. We cracked the code and then we started running. Yeah, that's a fact. And it's like, even for me growing my social media, because that's how this whole thing started originally before Earn Your Leisure, I was trying to grow my, my own social media page. And it was crazy. I looked at my, my post and the first post I ever had was you, Jamal. It was, um, it was in March uh, well, well, 20, 2017. It was March 1st, 2017. Mm-hmm. So that's like three and a half, three and a half years. Um, and it was crazy because it was like, you know, when you start out on social media, a lot of times you don't really know how to go about it. So it's like, for me, like I put together a manual because when I spoke to Val, another one of our friends yeah, shout out to who had a huge, huge following on social media, I'm like, I was confused. I'm like, how do I grow? Cause I knew, I knew once I had enough people, it could be something. I knew that part, but I didn't know how to get from point A to point B. I'm like, how do I, you know what I'm saying? At the time I have 500 followers on a private page. So I'm like, all right, I got 500 followers on a private page. I'm a financial advisor, which at the time was not the most desirable thing that people cared about at all. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's being modest. So so I'm like, I'm like, yo, how do I, how do I, how do I get attention? So for me, it was like a couple things that I'll share with the public that worked for me. And it was like, I first, like she told me, she's like, first figure out what you want to do. 
and like the value add that you want to add. So it was like, for me, I was like, all right, my value add is financial literacy, teaching people about business. But it's like, how do you make that different than what everybody else is doing? And how do you make it entertaining? Which this is something that Derek, I'm, I want to get Derek's view on this. So it was like, for me, I know, let's just be real. Young black people, we don't really care about boring finances and like, you know what I'm saying? We're not interested in that, but I know we love sports and entertainment. So I'm like, all right, if I could tie in business with sports and entertainment and tell the backstories of like record contracts and, and, and sports deals, I think that that'd be interesting to people. So it's like a Trojan horse. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna I'm I'm put business on the back end. Like I'm gonna tell like 50 cents vitamin water deal and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And that became really popular. So then she was like, well, you know, that first thing you gotta do is clean up your page. Like your page, in my opinion, it should only have like three things that's like consistent. So like in my page now, my personal page is either EYL brand or business news in general, or like my own personal who I am. Like I might put my son in there, or I might put a workout video or something like that. Too many people have got too much nonsense. It's oh, like you got man. memes and you got music videos and you got your friend's baby shower. I don't really care about your friend's baby shower. Like that was saying, <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. How you feel about that, Derek? Well, so for, for me, um, I definitely believe in aesthetics, bro. Like, just give you an example. The other day, I was looking for a yard, a lawn man, because I got a pretty big yard, and I put a post out. I had two people hit me. One dude had like forty pictures back to back, just different lawns. One dude had some decent lawn pictures, and other ones was guns, coupled with the weed, with the homies. And I was just like, <laughs> yeah, you know what? I probably ain't gonna choose, bro, to come back to crash. So. No, bro, those aesthetics and the visual does matter. And I think, like, when people see the consistency, it also adds to their, like, trust and believing in the brand because it it gives off the vibe of longevity, feel me? It looked like, bro, really been doing this. He really do this. He's living it. And, too, bro, like, when they can when they can imagine that based off the imagery and then you, you regurgitate that, like, I really do this, I'm really living it. To me, it just hit way different. And yeah, they're going to buy in. They're going to rock with what you're doing because they, they can see it, they can feel it, they can visualize it. Yeah, one, one of the coin fades that I heard, and I think this is, this is fitting, and maybe you can touch on it and the importance of it is ciphering through artificial importance. People just put in things that they think we're going to like or they think that the world's going to... And nobody <laughs> really cares. How, how did you master that because I, I feel like every time i watch you i'm like yo this guy is incredible like how is he doing this like every it seems important every single time how yeah. do you discover through that for me bro um one thing bro is i'm, I'm always gonna come at him and speak at him with a sense of urgency because it, it, it to me it is imperative that we get you know we get our lives together we we get intact the game ain't getting less dangerous it's getting more dangerous and then too bro i just every so bro i have a formula in my like basically per day a per week, I'm, I'm going to put a couple throwaways out there. Just I like to have fun. I'm a funny dude. I like to be comical. But, bro, for the most part, like, I treat social media like commercial space. McDonald's never throw out nothing just, like, BS and hanging out. Like, you think I'm going to get some McDonald's? Cool. Let us. No, it's always pressure. Like, hey, billion served. We got the Travis Scott. We got this. We got that, bro. So, for me, I function with social media like it's commercial space. And I'm like... I just want to make sure my commercials hit. And too, bro, I'm a stickler with my time. So if, if I'm making a video, I, I need some type of reciprocation for this video because I could be doing other things right now. But it's I'm taking me and my lady taking 15 minutes out of our day to make sure we properly shoot this video, put it in in shot, dress it up, make it look cute, put a caption on it, put a title on it, and then put it out there. Feel me? So I always want the videos to count. Even I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's like even when I'm not marketing for conversion it's still for something you feel me like if i post my lady it's intentional because she got a business venture she working on so as long as you follow her and you fall into her hands some way or another then you know it all makes sense was it always super intentional in that way like i'm thinking like 2012 after the sneakers did it become super intentional is that something that you learned over the course of time Oh yeah, nah, bro. I learned marketing strictly from the sneak the sneakers, bro. I ran into so many walls. I took so many L's that it just kind of like it kind of starts showing me like just small stuff, bro. Like people love incentives. People, believe it or not, I mean I'm sure y'all know this, bro, but people love to be like pressurized and rushed. Like, hey, y'all got to 12 o'clock. You better hurry up. <laughs> uh, you telling they got their whole life to invest, they gonna take their whole life in the next one. But telling they got to 12 o'clock, you feel me? They they finna move on it, bro. And too, like, especially even from y'all perspective, bro, y'all bring a lot of value to the universe. So, you know, one can sleep if they want to, but 
the game kind of like what y'all what y'all teach, bro, is like life or death information to me. Not necessarily death in the physical, but financially, yeah, you could be struggling for the next thirty years if you don't heed this information. So, no, nah, bro, I not back then it wasn't intentional. I was just shooting in the dark, bro, trying to figure it out. And then eventually, when I found a formula that worked, bro, I literally haven't changed my formula in like five years. Like it's still. <laughs> No, <laughs> nah, you got you you gotta stay consistent even like me like i like once i found my formula i didn't, I didn't change it because it's like another thing that she told me this is also a gym for anybody out there listening trying to go to their social media page anything that's look look at what everybody else in your field is doing mm -hmm. look at what everybody else in your field is doing and do the exact opposite of that so i see derek i see derek so he's in the financial literacy space but obviously he has 42 facial tattoos and he's he, he's he has a variety of, of handguns and um, he's teaching his daughters about shooting. So it's interesting. So when you see it, he's not your average person, but then when you, when you hear him talk, it's like this dude could have went to Ivy League school. Like he's very articulate. Mm -hmm. He's very, he's very, he's actually very, very polite. <laughs> he's, he's one of the most polite people I've ever met, <laughs> honestly. I'll be chilling always, I'm always chilling. <laughs> nah, he doesn't, whenever he speaks to me, whenever he texts me, the first thing he, he just re refers to me as big bro. Like, Every, you know same like, day. <laughs> he's like, yo, excuse me, big bro. Like, you got a minute, big bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's a very interesting package. So now it's not just like, cause you just, he draws you in with the guns and the tattoos and all of that. Technology. That's like the marketing. But then when you actually start to pay attention, and you hear him talk, it's like, and it reminds me of like what we was doing, like, you know what I'm saying? As far as like, all right, we drawing you in with sports, entertainment, we got rap, you see, we got rap artists and all that, but then you hear us talking about franchising and all of these high level stock options and all that. So it's an interesting play because it's like, we come in with t-shirts on. Yep. How many people are talking about stocks and all that with hoodies and t-shirts and sweats on? Usually you had talked about stocks, you wouldn't be taken serious if you didn't have a suit on. Yeah. Right. So, right. so it's a, it's a different level of packaging. And now it's like, it's interesting. And now once again, that just grows and grows your following. Yeah. I, I think one other thing that, and then I'm gonna give you credit for that. It was like, you, you incorporated what you were already doing. So like when you were teaching, you were teaching the kids. And I remember you used to come in with the camera. You're like, yo, just record, just record, just record. I'm like, yo, come on, man. Like we teaching together. <laughs> but it's the same. So like he had the, he had the mindset like, yo, I'm gonna, I don't see anybody doing this. Nobody's teaching kids on financial literacy. And that's something that you, you, you've done with your own children, right? Absolutely. So my, my thing is this, right? When when you get to the point when, when you when you have your kids and you're teaching financially financial literacy, is this something that you learned as a child yourself, or is that something that you've gained the knowledge as a time? Oh, absolutely not, bro. Uh I wasn't, I mean, bro, no complaints, but my childhood was was amazing. I wouldn't change. Well, I would change some things, but no, nah, bro, absolutely didn't learn that. I come from a blue collar family. My mom's a teacher and my pops retired to the service. You feel me? So entrepreneurship, my, my pops, he taught me something like where he taught me the importance of ownership. He taught me like, you feel me? Like make sure you have your own crib, make, make sure you pay your credit card this way. So it, it helped your credit. Da, da, da. But next level, like generational wealth. No, nah, we weren't taught none of that. Those, that was all things I had to acquire doing independent research in my twenties and then pouring to my children right away. Yeah, and I think that, you know, it's a, and that's that's the dope thing about with the with space that we're in now is that you can really get information for so many different, like, mm -hmm. you can speed up the process. Like, even like, you know, in our communities, it takes a long time what? to make a million dollars. Like, it might take 30 years, 35 years to make a million dollars. Like, that's a long time if you really think about it in, like, life perspective. Like, that's damn near half your life. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Where it's like other people, they already had a million dollars in their trust fund when they was born. Right. So now it's like you run a marathon just to actually start the race. Yeah. Like by the time you do, you just starting a race when you make a million, like you literally just starting, but it's like, it took you 40 years, it took you 38 years to actually get to this point. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like the information could have, could have accelerated your process. Easily. I and I think that, a, I mean, because I mean, that's a fact though. I just had that conversation with, uh, me and Keith's having that conversation, bro. I came to the realization like January this year that like my children, they may not be me or what I'm in. Well, of course they're not me, but they may not be what I'm into. Like I like active income. I like the grind. I like the hustle. But I really, bro, I really just started functioning different, making different investments. I was like, what if my children just, what if they just genuinely just want to live? Like they don't want to work hard. They don't want no job. They want to just live. But I was telling Keys, I was like, we have to go on the overgrind for the simple fact. Like, like he was just saying, like, 
it may take may take 30 or 40 till we touch our first M. We, so we we basically just getting in the game and we halfway through our life at that point. So no, that's a fact. Like I try to get that information and expedite it to my youngins as fast as possible because they like I'm a workhorse. They may not be cut like me. They may be super lazy or super spoiled. Who knows what they're gonna be when they grow up? But I just gotta make make try to make sure I cover all bases. Like if you want to inherit some of this business and run it, do it. But if you just literally want to be like dad i think i'm just gonna chill at home till i'm 35 then you know i want you to have that option too yeah for sure and i felt like um another thing i want you your take on is another tip for people that's out there trying to grow their social media following i think that that's really holding people back mm -hmm. if they understood it's it's unfortunate it's extremely unfortunate because it's like we're at a we're at a privileged position because we interview so many great people mm -hmm. so it's like um what was it napoleon hill who wrote the book um he wrote a book of like all of the influential people. Uh, I forgot the name of it, but yeah. So he got, he interviewed people for like 20 years. Mm -hmm. And I remember Maurice Claret was like, yeah, I'm envious of y'all. I'm like, why? He was like, cause like y'all doing what he did in, in 18 months. Mm -hmm. Like y'all get to interview all of these different people in 18 months. So imagine how much information you have in your brain from interviewing these people. Mm -hmm. So I say, I had to say like, we get to, we had a privileged position cause we had like sitting at the mountaintop. Like we get to see right. plays, we get to see the plays yeah. being run. And I'm like, people don't, they don't understand like how much money it is online. And I'm like, part, you don't have to have an online business. I'm just saying, that's what we do. That's what we do. So I can only speak about what I know personally and most of the people that we, and it's like, if you have a following, like you can definitely cash in on that. Like, yeah, yeah thinking for rich, that's the name of it. So it's like another thing that I, I learned in um, the online game is like, somebody should be able to look at your page and kind of tell what you do without reading your bio. Right. That's Good another point. thing of not having too much like nonsense on your page. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, if you look at Earn Your Leisure's page, we don't have to have anything in our bio. You know, all right, this is what they do. Like if you take a couple minutes just to skim through it. Yeah. And, I, and that's another thing too, is like you, your page, you might have to just go back and just start deleting, deleting stuff. Delete, yeah, delete, delete, delete. Archive, stuff. archive now. Archive, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just clean it up because yeah. it's like, you're trying to build a brand, but then you're trying to, entertain your friends at the same time. Yeah, You gotta sacrifice, what's more important? Yeah, you putting your kids up, you putting the, the family barbecue up. So like, how is that? I know you real strategic about the things that you post. When did you get, cause I didn't even know about the sneaker game, but when did you get to the point where it was like, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna just start posting because I know that this is what I wanna post to, to build attention to what I got going on my brand. Yeah, bro, that was 2016. Uh, So I did it, that whole page started a fresh one. Cause right, I never liked social media from a personal perspective. Like, all right, bro, hey, nobody noticed I'm gonna say this though. If y'all go to YouTube, type in a Millie Bound, A-M-I-L-L-I-B-O-U-N-D, whenever anybody get a chance. Bro, I did shoe reviews for like four years and never showed my face. They only saw my hands. I just never been big on social media, but I'm having a conversation with my cousin in 2016. He was like, bro, you got some powerful stuff that you could put into the world. You just need to work on liking people. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm really like, I'm really not a people person like that. He was just like, he was like, man, I'm gonna start taking you out in public and making you speak to people and just learn how to just, you know, just simply ask somebody how they day going and it don't gotta be weird. Cause I ain't gonna lie, bro, I get anxiety sometimes. I just be like, oh, why are you talking to me? Get away from me. I don't wanna talk to you, I don't know you. <laughs> I, my mentality be somewhere else. And they be like, man, it's a business meeting, relax. But no, I'm not bro, in 2016, that's when I really made a conscious effort to be like, everything is either gonna be educational or literature based. We not posting nothing off balance. Like, cause I know I around that time, like, well, I really started social media in 2015, but I had like pictures of my cars on there. Or I would take my daughter shopping and buy her a bunch of designer BS that she ain't need. But yeah, bro, I went back through, deleted all that. And we started sticking strictly to literature. I'm an author, I'm an author. And a lot of people don't understand when your aesthetics not matching up, to me, you cause yourself more work to even convince people of who you genuinely are. Cause you don't really look like no author to me, bro. I saw one book and I saw some dogs and I saw a beast and you feel me? Like you gotta make it make sense. Like I'm not even like, and I have became a, a best selling author in 2016. But yeah. if you had looked at my page, you would have been like, oh, he looked like he probably got some money. I see some Benzes on here and houses, but I don't know what he doing. He don't write no books, so he look more like a drug dealer. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> From the outside looking there, I probably look like, so you bought that Benz with a book? Stop lying. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, bro, I, 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 started, I started just focusing on my, my aesthetics and I wanted people to get a vision of a family man. So I would include my children. Uh, I would include literature and I would just 
speak constantly about independence and ownership and then it eventually blossomed into like and another thing too y'all i want to share this with everybody listening don't hesitate to create your own slogan or don't hesitate to create a mantra to go along with your brand because like to this day people still man i could matter of fact it's crazy right so to this day people still be like oh you are guys amongst men and that's based off a book i wrote four or five years ago but I understood the importance. Hold it up a little higher. Yeah, we, we gotta see that. I understood the importance of the marketing aspect. So every chain I got, I put, I just throw guys amongst men on it for the simple fact that it's gonna still serve as a branding tool. And because it actually has it actually has the likeness of a real actual live company that I own, it could also be used as a tax write-off as well. But no, nah, y'all like sometimes you gotta brand yourself. Don't wait for the streets to give you a name. You need to come out and be like. You know this this Johnson and Johnson clean as well. You know we can even make a murder scene go away, something like that. But them type of mantras, man, they stick in people's brains forever. You'll be eighty. Like people still run up on me like, "You the in home banking dude?" I just smile and be like, "Yep." I don't even care if you know my name, just as long as you know the brand. Because as long as long as you could Google in home banking, you finna go buy your board game in a week or two. Uh, it's, yeah. it's crazy that you say that because that's that's what us like. We we came up so before we started earning your leisure. Um, it was just my own personal page. Like I said, I was growing it. Another thing I want to tell people is um, you got to learn how to create content. Mm. Like for me, I taught myself, I taught myself how to edit videos. So like there's an app, people always ask me like what app I use to put like captions on videos. It's called Vaunt. And then it, I use the app called Spice to like, um, like edit. I learned how to edit videos myself. And then um, Video Resizer. I was just learning. I was just, everything is on the app store. When they say there's an app for everything, there's literally an app for everything. It's so it's like, another thing that you really have to be, you have to be aware of is like, especially building a brand on social media consistency. Like we started, we started uh, three and a half years ago and that's 42 months. Like, so like me, I still, I still post on my personal page and earn your leisure page, our Twitter page, Facebook, all the social media is me. Right. And I never, I never missed a day. I haven't missed a day in 42 months. Like sometimes people take breaks for the weekend. I appreciate that. Like Sunday is family day. Like that's dope. But me, I never missed a day. I never missed. I never missed one day in forty-two months. Christmas, Christmas Eve, New Year's, because I know that and bro, brand, brand consistency is extremely important. You got to do that, <laughs> bro. I, that's I, the I, fact. And bro, I, try me because I just want to say this real quick, bro. Yeah, bro, you deserve everything you're gonna get, bro. Because I know what it's like to like never take a day off and just like dedicate your existence to what it is you pushing and you believe in. And bro, like I just want to say that because a lot of people really don't understand. The consistency, the willpower, and the sacrifice that come with, like, I know I got a gazillion things going on Monday through Sunday, but the brand has to be pushed at all times. Yo, nothing's, nothing's bigger than the brand. They know that if they don't know me. That's the, that's the slogan. So right. my thing is, like, being an introvert, and there's, there's some commonalities with a guy I know who's an introvert, um, and building your brand and really not having a co-sign, what's the moment that that puts you in the front. Cause I, I've watched the, the book interviews in 2015 and I'm like, yo, this guy's talented, but he seems like he doesn't really like talking to people like that. And so uh, was it media training or was there a moment that just said, all right, he's out of here. Was it the book? Uh, Yeah, yeah, no, nah, bro. It, it was the book. I'm not gonna lie. It's still there. I just, I'm like way more comfortable with Zoom. Zoom is, Zoom is so amazing. Like <laughs> I've, I've been using Zoom since 2017, but not this frequent of course, cause we could still meet, but I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like when the pandemic hit, and it was like you gotta be quarantined. I'm like, shit, I, I am quarantined. I've been quarantined since I got. <laughs> I don't go outside, but no, nah, bro. It's 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 still pieces of me that's there, but I do know how to basically just kind of train myself to be out of my element. For, you know, for three to five hours, go knock out an event and go back home and be about be about my you know my solo business. But no, nah, at a certain point, I did have to break out of that because. Just being honest, bro, I missed a lot of opportunities being standoffish. I missed a lot of opportunities just like, well, I've been in the room with some important people and just gave them a head nod and kept it moving. And then you come to realize like, you could leverage those relationships. Like just, I mean, you know, where we talked about this last time, but that look went with, with expeditiously and y'all back to back. Bro, I mean, like, like I said, bro, we gonna keep it real. Like that's when right after that, them numbers was looking like, <laughs> No, it's looking different. So like, yeah, bro, at a certain point I had to get out of my own way. And then too, I start realizing like, I, I mean, I always knew I didn't know everything, but I start realizing like, your network is gonna help you propel to another level. Feel me like, don't get me wrong, I got a library behind me, but it's only with so much the books can give you. It's some real, real time game that other individuals could give you. You just gotta 
you know, stop being weird around everybody, get out your own way and be, a, you know, a little social. Nah, so now I want to, I want to um, go to, um, before we go to questions, I want to, I want a couple of things. So, like, so we talked about I, I, different ways of how to build a following. Mm-hmm. I hope people really, cause like, and we talked about a lot of different ways of like how to build your social media following. That's extremely important. Um, but it's like, all right, so now you have a following, but one of the things that you said on, on the um, hundredth episode that was really dope is that like, now it's like, you have like a triangle offense where you got like three plays going at the same time. Right. Yeah. So it's like, all right, the first part, in my opinion, for the e-commerce is to actually people who know who you are, cause you got the best product in the world. And if nobody knows who you are, then it doesn't matter. So, and that's something I think people have to pay attention to too, is that like, even with us, like, we didn't monetize first monetization comes after like you know what i'm saying like we built it so it's like even now like somebody asks like how many posts i was posting like one a day not nah, three uh, we post three, three times a day Never on your leashes page at least two to three times a day on my page that might not sound like a lot it's but a it's, lot especially when you when you post in real content like you gotta think about it and then it's like for me like i always try to be like up to date because like as algorithm things change. So like when I, when I saw IGTV was getting more traction, just regular 60 second videos, yeah. I was making, I was making every video at least 61 seconds or 62 yeah, yeah, seconds. Like, you know? hey, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> hey bro, I, ain't gonna lie. I make videos now, if it hit 59, I'd be stressing like, come on, man, you serious? <laughs> I might just throw a still picture on the end just to eat up the two Yo, seconds. Yo, that's a fact. I do the same thing. I do the same thing just to add like a different five seconds to it. Hey, yo, and I don't I don't want y'all to get, get it twisted, right? Like there, there's importance in teamwork, right? So like when he's doing that, like I said, I don't, I make no secret. This dude is a magician when it comes to that. So as a partner, I'm like, yo, bro, let's help him. Like, let's help. Even when he had his own page, it's like, yo, let's just help him. Let's read as many things as we can. So like he don't have to go searching because it takes, like, like you said, it's not easy to post three times a day, especially relevant articles, especially ones that you make sure that your community is going to relate to. Cause there's a lot of things I read. I'm just like, yo, I don't know if we're ready for that. I don't know if the audience is ready for that. And so going through them and giving it to them, like this, it's a whole process. So like consistency, like you said, is key, but that that's hard where I don't want to overstate that. That is extremely hard. And, it's difficult to be that consistent. Like you said, this Sundays, I'm like, oh damn, yeah, Shadi posted. Almost forgot about that. But you know, you know who else said that? Spurgo. Yo, it, you could learn something from everybody. Spurgo, 14, yeah, 15, he was like, 15 now. he was like, he was wearing um, his own personal clothes every single day, like t-shirt, the same t-shirt for months. Cause he just wanted it to just be annoying. Like it, it brand consistency. I don't, consistency is the most, is the most vital part of mm-hmm. business that people cannot just, they cannot, most people are just not going to be they, consistent. They tell us all, all the time. They're like, yo, y'all put out episodes every week, nonstop. I'm like, yo, we record a lot of episodes so we can do that. You know what I'm saying? Like I, there's been times, I just told this to somebody the other day. I'm like, yo, there's been days when we recorded four in a day just because we, it was like, yo, we're not going to stop working. Nobody's going to outwork us. Nobody's going to hustle us. Nobody's going to outgrind us. That's just, that's how we living. Yeah. So bro, look, I, if, if it's cool with y'all, bro, I actually want to share something with y'all that, like nobody know because we're gonna put the video out next week, but I would like wanna All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we love that exclusive. EYL exclusive. Let's do it. All right, y'all. So we talking about consistency and whatnot. Uh, and we also talking about marketing. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. So let oh. me check out, right? Yeah, you got the gold. What's the that? Gold. The AR? Oh, this is Uzi. Oh so, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Look, we um y'all three things I focus on in videos. Information, con- uh, information, controversy, and replay value. Um, Derek about to make a video. Well, we was well, the video made. We are gonna drop it next week, and I, I know it's gonna go. It's gonna be astronomical. But she gonna break. I got a. I got a collection of gold guns. So here go your shock value. Number one, when people identify the video, they're gonna say, "Damn, I just seen a nine year old that had like three gold Desert Eagles, gold AK, gold, gold Uzi, blah blah blah." So we've already captured. The vision we and then we also captured the people it's unfortunate y'all but we live in a country that's engulfed by violence y'all know like i mean y'all see the other day like you post a video of somebody getting killed it's gonna get 80 million views because people are just enthralled in violence they like mm-hmm. that is what the country built off of secondly when you have a nine-year-old kicking that type of information there goes your replay value because it's gonna be people that's gonna say damn i, I wish my nine-year-old would do that or it's gonna be it's gonna be that mama that called her husband see like this is why i be telling you it's, it's serious about teaching you know, riding in them what we need to teach them because they could be learning this stuff at this age. And then secondly, we're dealing with a pandemic where economically a lot of people have fallen short or they've been furloughed or their jobs lost. So she's basically gonna give some game on how to back your family by gold, invest in plenty of guns and make sure you have a healthy level of self-love. Now, the big thing with that is that 
I could easily get up there and teach those things, but the shock value and within the plot twist is to allow my nine-year-old to do that. So like just telling y'all, y'all like, I really have formulas on the marketing down from the imagery, like, okay, so something else I'm gonna share with y'all is like, big, uh, David Banner, my big bro in real life, you feel me? So I'm gonna show y'all something real quick, y'all, but it's, this stuff really important and everything strategic. So we gonna drop another video at the top of October Y'all know I got my own robotics company. This one of my <laughs> robots. But I wanted to make sure I plug my bro properly. So I had him send me sticker packs. Rather than so when we shocked the world as a black robotics company that got these robo dogs running around us autonomous and can chase people, we're gonna make sure we plug our bro at the same time and his face is front and center. So when that video get 10 million, whatever millions it's gonna get, not only is it gonna excel my brand as like an independent black uh, artificial intelligence company. But I want to make sure my bro is visible as well, y'all. So, man, everything from your aesthetics to your background to your verbiage to the T-shirt you wearing, like, all those things matter. Be strategic with all that because some of y'all don't know, man, you'll mess around and make the right video and somebody going to buy 10000 of the hat that your cousin was making in the video because, like, somebody got beat up on this side of the camera, but your cousin had a clean hat on that everybody could wear with them J's that come out for Christmas. <laughs> Next thing you know, y'all viral. Y'all done made a hundred million off hats, and it, it was accidental. But y'all like on the real, it's it's certain element. Like like Big Bro was saying with the triangle offense, that's something I use too. But with my videos, period, we need that shot value, we need that controversy, we need that replay value, and we need that information. Got to feed the people. I'm gonna tell y'all personally, especially during 2020 in these times, if you have what they consider an essential business where you teaching people how to win and move forward, you in a dangerous position. Man, mash out, remain consistent because me personally, I don't think the game gonna get no simpler. You feel me? So to me, bro, that's why y'all so vital because y'all y'all bringing it every day. Like, bro, I'm not one of the people be telling people like, man, yo, you gotta follow. Like, bro, no, I sat down with my lady one day because she don't really follow nobody. She got like less than 100 followers. I was like, babe, you need to follow EYL. You need to follow Wall Street Traffic, bro. I can't. <laughs> Shout out to the, bro, the team. Bro. But bro, y'all really feeding people so. I ain't gonna lie, if somebody's not engaged, then they probably ain't even on the frequency they need to be on to survive right now in America if they're not engaged to what y'all putting in the streets because I don't see too many people. I don't really know nobody that's doing what y'all doing, period. That's love, bro. Now, hold on. This is like, I said, I don't want people to, to this this dude is crazy smart, man. Like, <laughs> that was a marketing, that was just a, a five to 10 minute marketing play. Like, you know what I'm saying? He, mm -hmm. he broke down as far as the controversy value, the shock play, the replay, the information. He explained how his daughter's going to, like, you can go to school and learn that, like, in a semester. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. don't let don't let this go over your head. Like, when I say don't let it go over your head, it's not just a rap slogan. Mm -hmm. It's really like, don't let it go over your head. This is vital, this is vital information. If you're an entrepreneur, You like, I personally didn't go to school for marketing. I learned it. So I'm learning as I'm going. I'm learning marketing from, from observing. You have to be very observant in this world and you got to be able to, to pick up the information as you go and process it. So it's like, I don't necessarily have to go to Harvard. I'm learning from somebody that's actually doing it right now in real time. And bro, the other day you had put it in real good lingo when you was talking about like rappers and entertainers, but y'all just imagine seeing the things that rappers and entertainers have but the knowledge right behind, right after you see them to acquire it for yourself. Cause I'm be real, y'all, I understand this, that, like, don't get me wrong, like, I like Cubans, but it could be, it could be a little excessive sometimes. Like, I ain't gonna lie, the one I got on right now is like almost four pounds, this one hurt. But just be keeping it real with y'all, <laughs> I understand the connection with my culture. I understand the connection of, of wealth and I understand how our culture views things. So another thing I want everybody to know, man, meet your people where they at. I'm gonna tell you, like, a lot of times I think we be overcomplicating things. We try to speak over their head, meet them where they at. I think that's a great ability I have is just to simplify information. I'm like, I ain't, I ain't gotta use the, the huge, not nothing wrong with using the big words. I ain't gotta use all the huge words. I'm, I'm gonna give you an analogy about a dice game. You're gonna understand exactly what I'm saying and be like, so yeah, bro, let me grab the book though, because I totally get, I totally get what you're talking about right now. Yeah, that's why I say we, we we speak a common language, you know what I'm saying? So when whenever we get to link up, it's like, yo, that's the same language. The first thing I said when I saw him, I'm like, yo, I like this guy a lot, man. You one of the favorite people I haven't met and we yeah. never really met, you know what I'm saying? But I, I'm glad that you explained the why, right? Cause some people will look at it still pitching like, yo, this dude's crazy, got tattoos, guns, but they don't understand the why. So I'm glad that you broke it down just now. I appreciate it. It's that. one of those things where, you know, a lot, everything is funny in life until until it's not. 
Right. You laughing. You you're laughing until the joke is on you. Yeah. I think, I, think, I, think, I think you said that too. You was like, yo, a bunch of people online, it's just a scary place because you got a bunch of people that's doing nothing, talking about somebody who's actually doing something. Right, not right. <laughs> because they actually view it as a pastime and then they really do pass time, but it's nothing of, 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 of progress once they're done having a conversation. Yeah, that's a fact. Every every week, ladies and gentlemen, I like that. A national pastime. A national pastime. That's <laughs> a fact. A national pastime of doing nothing. <laughs> Generation. Nah, he's the he's the illest dude on Instagram, man. I I've been telling all. I be like, yo, you see this post? I, he had one post where he was like, yo, um, he was like, y'all listening to to your parents? They ain't doing nothing. Your grandparents ain't doing nothing. They still trying to tell you the it's game like, from the a, seventies and it didn't yeah, work then. So why are you failure. trying it now? But it's true though. Like yo, it's like it's a legacy I'm of failure. You, when you said that, right? I had to. I thought to me personally, I'm like, yo, damn. Like I watched my parents and I've watched them work, but I started thinking, man, like what did they teach us about financial literacy? And I was like, damn. Everything I'm learning, I'm learning from Rashad. I'm learning from Jamal. I'm learning from our guests. I'm learning from like my own personal experiences, and I'm like. Yo, we really about to, and we're doing it now, but we're breaking generational thresholds. Not even curses, but thresholds. That's it's best. like, damn, this is it. So when you said it, I'm like, yo, they still have a mentality from the 70s. They've been scorned in the 80s and 90s. It still affects them today. Right. Here we are to break the threshold. Shout out to Ian Dunlap, who's just randomly in our- in our, in our <laughs> He's in going our, on. Yeah, Ian, yeah, wait, yeah. Ian, Hall, Ian Hall was here? Ian, see, you never know what's gonna happen <laughs> with EYL University. Have you ever watched Market Mondays yet, Derek? Yeah, bro, I caught, I've caught two of them. I watched one, I think, I watched, it's been a while, bro. I know, I, I watched two of them before, though. Can we, can we? live on YouTube, right? Yeah, I just want to yeah. introduce you to, to Ian real quick, because Ian, Ian's a real supporter of yours. He likes you a lot. And um, yeah, every post, he said, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. I, I, I follow, bro, I just didn't know his government name was Ian. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, man? Ian Holt, what's good, baby? How you feeling? Uh, I'm glad to be here. Derek, I, I love your movement, man. It, Probably bro. one of the best uh, marketers on the planet, even though they don't give you enough credit for it. You rock my guy Marquel too, so you, you extended family. Uh, to me, can I squeeze in my little tab of smiling? Nah, go ahead, yeah, go they ahead. want it. They look, they looking for it. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> um, I promise I'm only going to ask one. So, if you lost all of your followers and your email list, and in one year you have to start over to make, let's say, ten million, mm -hmm. how much per day would you post, and how? Many ads would you be running per day? I wrote, uh, I post six times a day now. I'll probably up that to 10 because I just know like my lifestyle. I'll probably be tripping on that, worrying if I can maintain what I've been maintaining for my family, my employees. But, uh, but bro, I probably would only bump that up to 10 posts a day. I know what I, in terms of ads, bro, I haven't used an ad since 2018. When I peep how social media was functioning with the algorithms and they basically was playing games with a lot of people, I kind of fell back from it. But if I was gonna go with ads, one thousand percent, I would probably, I would probably run four solid ads per year, just stretch them out over a decent amount of time. But bro, it'd be some hard hitting, controversial. <laughs> it it, it has to be. Time. Yeah, bro, we trying to get back to ten M's. But I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. What I what something else I would do is I probably would do a hell of a flash sale and just give it some reason to justify being so low. But basically, flood out one of like my marquee products for people who couldn't afford it initially, mm -hmm. and run it up that way. And is there a favorite marketing book or course that you have, or if you have one, plug it because you need to drop a marketing program. Yeah, yeah, no, right. That's actually one of my plans for twenty twenty one. I really want to transition into consulting all the way, and people just you know able to hire me on just to consult for their company and take them to the next level. But bro, a marketing book. Uh, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. The only marketing book I ever read. I, have, I do have some. The only one I read back to front was um, Contagious. And when Nip mm. mentioned that back then, mm -hmm. I went and got mm -hmm. it. And I was able to sell God's Amongst Men Volume 3. I sold it for $2,000 six different times. And the, we just attached an experience. So basically, if you bought that one book for two grand, I would fly to you personally or individually and teach you for like a whole eight hour session. And I had six different schools that ended up paying for it. And I spoke at a school. Um, I'm about to add that. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's dope. And then one, I, I, yeah, one other thing I want to add on the marketing, y'all, is some people going to look at it and be like, okay, two grand for a book. You basically book, got booked for $2,000. But on the marketing side and pushing your brand forward, mm -hmm. saying, hey, I got booked for two grand versus I sold a book six times for two grand. 
conversation sounds different. Way yep. Different. <laughs> so yeah. We yeah. took that narrative and we ran with that narrative. And then people was like, two grand for a book. Well, let me see what that's about. <laughs> that's good. Yep. And then, bro, after that, it. guiding you. <laughs> yeah, bro, after that, I dropped the price and then they flooded it. And I was like, okay, we ain't making two grand. We, we made two grand on six a piece, but you know, you could sell 10,000 at 50 to a hundred dollars and you still be straight. I love it. I appreciate it. No, no problem, bro. Yo, somebody, there's no guidelines for yeah. Mr. Dunlap, man. He we, makes we, his own rules. Yeah, we, 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 that's our guy. That's the, that's the star. That's, yeah. our, that's our star quarterback. <laughs> He's like Dak Prescott. They say I look like Dak Prescott. About to say, they call you Dak. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> they call me Dak Prescott. If I had one more person say, or I PJ look Tucker. Like yeah, you get a lot of that. Yeah, man. <laughs> Shout out to both of them, man. Shout out to both of them. If you're not in EYL University, I'm be completely honest with you. You're doing yourself a tremendous disservice because this is just like I said. This is open house. We do this every single week with the top the creme de la creme. One mm -hmm. of the things we're on your leash is that we've we've established such good relationships. So, like I said, we feel like the best way to actually promote what we have is to actually show it. So this is an open enrollment. Yeah. This is open class. The price will never be as low as it is right now. At midnight tonight, the price is going up. 50% sales is the, that we never had a 50% sale anymore. Yeah. The reason why we, we're not just, in, I want to address this too. First of all, it's tremendously undervalued. That's first and foremost. But the reason why we're, we're, we're increasing the price, like Mr. Two Weeks outset, a lot of times people think you have an online business and um, you have no overhead at all. That's not true. As your business grows, your overhead grows, no matter what, because now we're investing in the business. We're mm -hmm. developing an app, we have employees, we're developing um, curriculum. We have, you know, seasoned professors that we're going to actually start to bring on. So, and even if we didn't have any of that, for <laughs> for just one class, it's three hundred dollars. If yeah. you can't get value out of that in one week, out of you, you can't get your money's worth out of one week. You, you you're doing something wrong. It's yeah. not us. It's your, it, it, it's your it, fault. Yeah, I, there's, oh, been, I, there's been too many. Like, yo, listen, man, I made my money back within the first day. Whether I was watching Market Mondays or I was listening to Matt. <laughs> talk about real estate. I mean, it's tremendously undervalued, like he said. And I, I got a call from one of the professors. I leave his name anonymous, but he was just like, yo, I know what y'all doing. Y'all want them to see it so they can touch it and feel it like it's real. Like, yeah, we make no secret about this. We regular dudes, we want to show you the product. We're not going to hide it and, and say, yo, come in. And then look behind the door, this is what, nah, this is what it is. Y'all know, earners know YouTube. Y'all know y'all with us every Monday. So but the thing about it too, it's like buying a stock early. You see our progression. So imagine what we're going to be in four years. Because Earn Your Leisure is not, it's not going anywhere, God willing. The university, right. we're going to be the biggest online. So now if you get in at $300 in the annual, you're paying that annually. Imagine the value that you're going to be getting five when the price is $4,000 to get in. Mm -hmm. And you got in at $300. Somebody said, I'm grandfathered in. Like, just think about that. <laughs> like, that's, 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 that's how you got to look at it. Too, Absolutely. It's an annual thing. So it's like, you're paying $300 a year, but... There's, at some point, there's going to be people paying $5,000 every single year, and that's going to be 50% off $10,000. Yeah, what you're doing right now is you, you're paying for like a book out of college. If you're really going to school, you're paying for a book, right? You're not paying $40,000 for the semester. You're paying $300 for a year. You know what I'm saying? Well, I, In terms I, of that. I, I, I want to say this too. Uh, yeah, bro, y'all value is unmatched. Like, like bro, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Like, I, I told Rashad this the other day, but like, bro, Y'all value is at such a level that I don't be feeling comfortable asking y'all questions for free. <laughs> like, it's, that, it's that type of energy. And not that y'all ever made me feel that way, but it just be like, bro, them like big dogs. You don't just call their phone. Cause I, I know how I feel when somebody be like, I got his number. I'm just gonna call and ask him 48 questions. But nah, bro, like the value is unmatched. And I know that for sure. Like that's coming from somebody who dangerous on that level too. Like, bro, I, I be telling everybody I know, like, man, y'all gotta follow earn your leisure. You, you got to make sure you get over there because they they kicking it from a print. Bro, you had put up a post today that like, I reposted it, bro, but it really resonated with me. You, I, you had mentioned something like what you had in the bank, I think like four, three, four, five years ago, something like that, but I read Oh, it. my credit, credit, the credit uh, score. Yeah, but bro, man, people don't really understand that. Just keeping it real, bro. Like I really, I really just learned that lesson this year. I, mean, my, I, I maintained my credit strong. It was like 700s up until probably like age 25. And then when I started teaching in-home banking, I'm like, oh, we got cash. We don't need no credit. We straight. And man, I, I went to go get, I went to go transition to the crib I really wanted this year. And they wanted $2.4 million and I didn't want to cash out. And they were just like, well, look, until you get a credit approval, you can't even do a walkthrough. Like we're not gonna, I'm, I'm looking at house on the internet. They wouldn't even grant me a walkthrough. And I'm mm -hmm. like, I got plenty of money. Like I, I got a couple of dollars, but 
No, nah, man. Like when that post resonated with me, bro, because credit is so essential. And I, I want people to understand, like, just because you got the bag, it's gonna be certain doors that they don't care about the bag. They want to know, like, how how can you carry debt? Can you manage debt and whatnot? So no, nah, bro. Like that's a fact. You know what, Derek? Since you said that, I'm about to I'm about to do something. I'm about to do something. I'm about to get them one million dollars worth of game for free. After this, the 2200 people on YouTube, please like the video. I'll I'd be highly disappointed if 2,200 people don't join EYL University after what I'm about to say. Cause with that post that I, I just woke up and I'm like, yo, my credit, I just felt good about the credit score, but I'm like, it's more than just having a, a high credit score, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like when we, we spoke about um, you know, how to, you know, hire your kid and all that. And you know, a lot of times people say, like, oh no, it's it's tax fraud, it's a scam, da da da. da. So this is how this is how this is a million dollars. This is a million dollars worth of game right here, right? So if you have a family business, you start a family LLC, right? You and your wife, you start a family LLC, right? Whether it's an LLC, sole proprietorship, whatever, um, but it's a partnership company, right? Now you can hire your you can hire your child, um, and between ages fourteen, I think the legal age to work is fourteen, mm -hmm. between fourteen and eighteen, right? So you can hire you can hire your child as a legitimate employee and give them give them a job in the organization, whatever the organization is, give them a job in the organization, right? And then from that being that it's a family business and you hiring your child, they don't, they don't have to, the child is exempt from paying social securities tax. They're exempt from paying Medicare tax. They're exempt from paying FUTMA, which is federal unemployment tax. They're exempt from paying that. They're actually exempt from paying the federal unemployment tax until 21. So long story short, the child doesn't have to pay Medicare, social security or uh, FUTA taxes, right? But now with the new tax bill that passed in 2018, um, which is the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, they up the standard deduction from sixty three hundred to twelve thousand dollars. So every every person has twelve thousand um, dollar deduction. So now the child can can use the um the, the personal deduction of twelve thousand dollars to not pay any federal income tax. So now you got to look at it like if you got a kid and you might give them let's say let's say you're gonna give them five thousand dollars throughout the course of the year, right for allowance and stuff like that. So now instead of just giving them five thousand dollars, you put them you make them employ you make them work for it, mm -hmm. and as he's working. He or she, they learn in the business, they learn in the game, whatever. And then you pay them, you, you, you pay them, you put them on payroll, right? So now you're paying them $5,000. So now they're not paying no taxes on that. Cause like I said, you have up to $12,000 for the deduction between ages of 14. So let's just say that. So now what you do is that, let's say you give them $5,000 a year, right? You take half of that. Tell them you take half of that. You, you take 2,500 and you put it, you open up a Roth IRA for the kid, right? So between four years, let's say the kid puts in, $2,500 into a Roth IRA for four years, right? And let's say, let's say it's earning 10%. Let's say you watch Market Mondays, you watch Wall Street Trap, but you follow Ian, Master Investor, you follow Mark, you know how to invest money in the market. So let's say you're earning 10%. That's not, that's not unrealistic. Mm. You're earning 10% for four years, just four years, right? So now that $2,500 would have grown to $11,602. Now let's say they never touch the money ever again. Now they're 18, now they start to work, whatever. You just let that sit, you let that Roth sit, right? So now you let that Roth sit for 47 years. Why do I say 47 years? Because now they're gonna be 65. Mm -hmm. So now at 65, it's just, if it's still earning 10% a year, Compound that's interest. one, one million, 23, $1 million and $23,000. One million, 23, two, six, seven to be exact. So now you got, but not only is it one million, $23,000, but it's a Roth IRA, so it's tax-free. Mm -hmm. So now literally it took four years for you to fund your child's retirement, more money than you probably got going to have in your 401k, your pension plan, all that. You accomplished that in four years from the ages of 14 to 18. And you, you showed your child how to work. They didn't have to pay any tax benefits for being an employer. Right. And now that's just, that's literally a million dollars worth of gain. That's a million dollars. That's a million dollars worth of gain. That's a fact. <laughs> the power of compounded <laughs> interest given to you by my brother, Rashad Bilal. <laughs> so if you don't take advantage of that, shame on you. But like I said, that's literally just a million dollars worth of game for free. Earn your leisure, EYL University. I got it. I got it, you, bro. It's a promo code for 50% off. Hey, yo. How much information can you give the people, Derek? Like, how much, <laughs> after a certain point, how much information can what? How much, how much can you give the people, man? It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a certain I, point, mean, bro, I, I, I do want to... Uh... I, I want to piggyback some of what you just told them too. I just want to share this one thing because it's like a cool little thing I learned a year or so ago. So y'all, I urge everybody like create multiple LLCs within y'all family, right? And find ways that 
even if your relative ain't got a business yet, you may want to invest in them or even if they even if they're willing to start one. But man, find ways that you could basically wash the money at one table. So I'm gonna tell y'all something me and my pops do. And it's 100 percent legal, so there's nothing wrong with sharing. But anyway, my pops has a company called Grace Private Security. He does personal and dignitary security. Like he was retired to your service, so he knows how to do it really well. I require security. So basically on a month to month basis, my pop's gonna send me a nice big invoice for the security services that he has to provide his client slash son. And then I had to pay him. But the beauty in that is that I get to use that as a write-off. And then also when I buy guns, I buy them through his company. So we basically just wash each other back with the money and we give as little money as possible to Uncle Sam and we, we retain as much as possible because hanging, like going to get a bite to eat with my daddy is an expense. He got to keep me safe, right? When I'm getting my food, and then when I'm buying all these guns, cause I got a a, a, a habit, he can write them up and be like, man, look, we spent 200 grand on guns this year. You feel me? And Uncle Sam just, you know, they're going to get a few dollars, but for the most part, they got to mind their business and all the money, me and him just, you know, we going to eat, break bread. And yeah. As long as we happy and smiling, everybody won. One hand wash the other, both wash the face. That's it. Can we, can we, can we get some questions? Yeah, you, got, yeah, yeah. you got a couple more minutes for us Derek? Yeah, yeah, bro, for sure. All right, so this this is another part of EYL University. When we do the classes, it's not just um the professors or the or the, the um teachers actually teaching. We make it interactive because people ask all the time, like, what's the difference between this and a podcast? Obviously, the podcast is it's taped. It's just information, but it's one thing to actually you know tell tell your story and give information. It's always a, a bunch of gems in the podcast, but for the platform EYL University, it's more of a teaching structure. And then the best part, in my opinion, is what we're about to do right now, where we actually open it up. And this is like mentorship and really like how many times you actually get to speak to people on a one-on-one -on -one yeah. level and okay. um, I mean, they ask see, questions. They so, see these people, they see a lot of these people on, when they follow them, it's like, yo, this is the opportunity you get to talk to them, which makes it so unique and makes it so crazy. It's like, yo, they probably followed there. They've been following you for five, six years and now they have an opportunity to talk. So I'm gonna open the floor up. Macintosh, you are unmuted, unmute yourself, go ahead. Hello guys, how y'all doing? Hey Macintosh, congrats, man. I heard we got you cleared, you're, you're, you're in the stock club. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Yep, yep. The question that I have for Derek is, um, do you have your own website or you just like do a uh, drop shipping? Oh, no, 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 bro. I, I have my own website and then my team run everything out of some some local warehouse locations that we have for all our products and whatnot. But yeah, bro, it's DerekGrace2.com. And then I, I mean, I, I basically, most of my businesses right now, I got a website for some of them not yet because like we, uh, excuse me, I started a trucking company. We haven't developed a website yet because it's not really that type of business where we're trying to provide a service to an individual. It's more so an industry ran business, but yeah, bro, I'm always going, bro, I urge anybody to do that, man. Build your website and build you, you know, just funnel your traffic through these free social media platforms. But yes, bro, always, always have your platform to where people can get in touch with you directly, learn more about you, see what you offering. Okay, is it connected to like to eBay or Amazon or is it like only your website? No, bro, it's, it's only my website. It's hosted by Shopify. I, oh, okay, my, okay, okay. All my websites are ran through Shopify, bro. But no, nah, it's that's that's the only thing it's attached to. All right, appreciate it. Appreciate you, Macintosh. Yeah, he cut All the right. middleman. He cut the middleman out. Yeah, shout you know, out to shout out to Shopify. Amazon take thirty percent. Thirty percent. Uh, depend. I think it's forty. Forty percent. It was hitting me for forty back in. 40. The day. Yeah, forty. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Ask Cassie, and he was doing forty percent. Uh, Nathan, you was the first one in here. I'm coming to you. Unmute yourself. You've been unmuted. Nate, you there? Damn, Nate, don't do that. Don't make me do this, Nate. Damn, bro. Don't make me do it. Took a bathroom break. Oh, y'all can't hear me? Oh, don't yeah, do me yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, so yeah, hey, throw yeah. it. Don't do me like that, man. I wasn't going to do you, <laughs> my brother. <laughs> hey, man, look, y'all my, my guys, man. All three of y'all, right? Check this out. So I just all, that just how that dirt the uh, day two, DG, the other uh, day. But listen, I want to yeah. tell y'all one thing, Rick. I want to tell y'all one thing. So first though, I mean, I got a question too though, but look, first though, y'all three dudes right here on my screen, digitally, the three dudes I done spent the most money with, right? I ain't spent, I don't even spend money with other people, man. Y'all three dudes are the only people I spend money with. But th this the kick though, this the kick. So I was I was giving Troy and, and, and Rashad money before they even had the university, right? So anybody that ain't in the university, y'all need to get the university because I was on Patreon. I was giving them money before they even had a, uh, what's the name? Right. And I was on the Patreon. I'm just giving them money on GP because they yeah. had the information. DG, 
had me wake up on my sleep one day like, damn, let me say 12 o'clock, the jump was going off. I got to hurry up and get the post truck back. You know what I'm saying? So the two, the two, we on marketing, right? So the two, the two things was, it was, a, and DG had the value out, the, but his marketing got me in there. But y'all had so much value that, I, you know what I'm saying? I was giving y'all money before I even had to buy a service. So I was just grandfathered into the university, right? <laughs> the fact, fact, made, fact. The Grace made me get his course. He's like, Slim, I had a buddy like, he like, yeah, man, his baby mother said something about the dude with the tattoos on his face. I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I got cut, I got his uh, I got the uh, the um, the game. He like, yeah, you got the game. So I talked to him another time. He like, yeah, cuz got like a course or something. I'm like, yeah, I'm in that joint too. He he gave me the other uh, day like, hey Slim, don't tell me Slim, you part of the secret society too. I said, you don't say much. You already know him in that. I said I was in the secret society when it was that. When it, I said, look, I got one car and on it. If I if I can show y'all. I got one car. It's a business car. Every month, my Patreon come out. It got nothing but charges from EYL and DG, uh, 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 Third Great Secret Society, all that on there. So that kind of <laughs> so y'all, my guys. I look, hey Troy. I raised my hand as soon as that as soon as the junk came on. I said I got to get it on with them. Yo, so man, I don't want hope. You've been, you been a day one, man. You've been a top earner, earner for a long time, bro. Top I remember earner. we had that hour conversation with you and your cousin. When we came to D.C., you ran up and bought us drinks. Bro, I, we don't forget nothing, man. Come on now. Yeah, no, no bro. Hey, hey, y'all know I know Nate, boy. So I ain't had to see him no more. This is not <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, no question, no question. But look, so, so, so me and that dude that was asking me that, we got something cooking up, right? And I know I probably can look this up or something like that, but I, I just got the masterminds, y'all on y'all on the line, right? And my email be flooded with nothing but EYL and dirt great stuff. So I'm saying, it's I mean it's a simple question that I could go out there and look it and look it up real, but I got y'all on here, so my ass, y'all. I'm saying so when I'm cooking my joint up, how I'm going behind to flood my customers with their emails? How they email gonna get the banger like y'all? And if y'all wanna be DM y'all and y'all give me that game on the side, y'all can, but I mean I know this you know people gonna replay this. But how I get the flood like y'all be flooding me? Yeah, the email you want to talk about. Yeah, I mean the email list is is, is built in a, a number of ways, right? When we did um, events, right? The first thing we had to do was sign up through email. When we create um, new content, we're like, "Yo, we're creating uh, EYL University. If you want to be a part of it, send us your email." So we just grew it like that. Everything we did, Patreon was another way to get emails. So once we got all that, like we said, man, emails and, and that is is digital gold at this point. Yeah, so okay, I would so say, would you, is it like a server? It was like mail. Somebody was saying something like Mailchimp or something. Like where you hold, where you holding all the gold at? <laughs> yeah, I think we use Mailchimp. Yeah, we do. We, we actually yeah, do. Yeah, we, we use Mail. We use Mailchimp. Mailchimp. Oh, oh uh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, you already got the gold. Yeah, you yeah, but no, I just was, I thought it was a back door. Like, young, how how are you doing this? I'm, I'm nah, trying nah, to check no, the emails. Like, it's, where is it for from? Not, it's no secret. It's yeah. no secret sauce on that. That's, did, did, I mean, I think the hardest part, how to get the, it's a couple services. Yeah, yeah. MailChimp, that, that's easy. The, uh, what, what you want to pay attention to is, is getting emails. Yeah. Because like Harvard did a study where they said that um, attention is the new goal. And um, like people, uh, uh, people's attention is more important than anything right now. So you want to, you want to be able to get emails. So whether it's free giveaways is a great way to give emails too. Yeah. I, I'll tell you another way is when people, we create a product like the merch, right? One of the things you submit is your email, right? So people buy the merch, now we have the emails. So like now it's easy. Like now the next time we put out a uh, product, it's like, all right, well, we have people who've already supported us. We go back down that avenue to say, look, we got something new that you might like, EYL University, would you like to support that? Yeah. Okay, I'm with y'all, I'm with y'all. Hey man, I appreciate it, bro. Y'all got it, man, y'all got it. I'm gonna Love. let y'all do y'all thing. Appreciate Love, you. shout out to the DMV. Appreciate you, bro. It's my guy right there. Yeah, Nate, no joke. Nate, wait, time out. This is <laughs> hold on. Let's get this. All right, so we got, we we coming to Will and Judy. Yeah, unmute it. Unmute yourself. This was our Netflix people. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we definitely Netflix. <laughs> Yo, hey, peace, man. And anybody that's listening on YouTube, y'all better get this, man, because it's well worth it, man. Um, 150%. We like on three businesses. We ain't get that 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 bag yet, but we on our way. Trust. <laughs> um, hey. I want to ask um, DG. Um, when you was putting out that content, right before you started, your book came first, or the content, or vice versa? Like, what propelled you first? Big bro, what did it was the content. I put a video. Okay, so the the video that went viral for me back in 2016. 
I had already posted it four times and I was just going to bed early that night. And I was like, I just need to throw something up before I tap out. I threw the video up. It was of Derek and Derek going over like business, business regimen and ownership. Woke up the next day and I, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't know what Brower was. Somebody, people, people had got my number, all type of stuff. And this dude from Miami called me and was like, hey bro, my name's so-and-so. I would love to manage you and your family. You know, you viral. And I was like, what's that? And he, was like, <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he was like, that means you famous on the internet. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, but no, bro, so the content came and to keep it real with you, like the content was really accidental. I mean, I'm not gonna say it was accidental. We were shooting to create content, but we had no idea that that video reposting it for the fifth time was gonna take us to the next level. I think um, Malcolm Jamal Warner from the uh, Cosby's, bro reposted it and it went crazy. I think he, I don't even know, I don't even know how bro was following me. I still don't, we talked, but I still never got to ask him, but he reposted it. And then like life was never the same the following day. Yeah, shout out to Theo. You never know. You never, that's another thing too. You never know who's following you on social media or who's yeah, we, paying we, attention to you. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> never know. We, 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 you had some, some interesting ones, man. Guidelines, so. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Will, Judy, we appreciate y'all. <laughs> yeah, that's always fun. It's always fun. Yeah, like when you put the search in and you're like, wait, I didn't even know. Cause like, sometimes they don't come in order. They come in like the middle of the night and then you wake up and it's like, Right. Oh, did, didn't know that. Shout out to everybody that's been following your legion. Shout out to everybody that's been following with Shadow Lowe's page. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, that, that is a that is an interesting uh that is a, a interesting part of the game when you realize who actually because where I get some interest. I don't I ain't really checked my DM since like August of 2019, but my team check them and I it'd be some interesting stuff in there. People I had no idea that they was following and what they was actually following for. Yeah, and sometimes you lose op opportunities when you don't jet. It's a lot of gems. It's, it's, yeah. You know what, DMs are like um, going shopping at Sims. You gotta uh, go through a TJ bunch Max, of- TJ Maxx, TJ uh, Maxx. Same thing. Yeah. You gotta go through a bunch of nonsense to find one good <laughs> polo shirt that's at 80% discount. You know, it's like the one guy that got a million dollar deal for you, but you gotta have a hundred other, can I pick your brain? Right, right. No, that's why I, I hired somebody to actually do them because I'm like, I know it's bread and opportunities in there. I just don't care to, it's too time, bro. People don't know, like DMs is a job. Like right. it takes right. hours to even comb through the nonsense and get to the realness. You still gonna you end up losing an hour trying to figure that out. What no no? What's going on? You unmuted. Unmute yourself. Oh nah, nah. I don't. Uh, I'm gonna have do to do it. it. Yeah, damn. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Uh, <laughs> Samantha, yeah. Unmuted. Unmute yourself. What's going on? Hey. Oh my God. Okay. Hey, how you doing? What's going on? Nothing. What's going on with you guys? Are uh, we just, just doing this YouTube thing right now? <laughs> <laughs> I just joined today. Oh, um, congrats. Welcome. It was welcome. It was the uh, episode with the Bajanisa. Okay. I had that feeling and I was like, that's the confirmation. So I did it. Oh, that's dope. Okay. Welcome. So welcome. I'm so proud of you guys. Um, you guys are doing a great job. Whew, I'm nervous. Okay. My question is, what are the possible startup costs that can be delayed? So for example, is it important to invest in a lawyer in the beginning? Like if you're doing it with a partner, mm. like for like getting an operating uh, agreement, or is that something that you can invest in later on? So, I mean, from my perspective, I have had some business deals that could have went better had I had proper representation. So me, me, me just being honest, if you got the budget for sure and can afford it, I would definitely tell you to start out and do it the right way in terms of having representation, somebody that could really audit and make sure you got proper contracts, proper agreements. Um, Cause I like in 2015, I got my first lawsuit in 2015 and it was just a handshake deal, excuse me, a handshake deal I had with a guy who was making my t-shirts and he just hit me one day and was like, bro, you know, I made a lot of t-shirts for you. I feel like I should be entitled to, you know, some of your brand. And I was like, but it's a service because you I make you make me pay you for every shirt. <laughs> he he just doubled back five months later and like he really filed paperwork and I got served a subpoena at my house. He never showed up. He it got thrown out. But yes, uh, it could save you a lot of headaches, save you a lot of money, especially if you got a, a product that people 
have to like do any physical movement with because last thing you need is somebody twisting their ankle and saying like oh well I, I had on the waist beads you sent me and they made me move this way and I threw my hip out of place so no I would definitely say for sure if you got the budget bring somebody in who could oversee the business and make sure everything is operating you know at a, in, from a protective standpoint yeah I think the um some of the course we talked about actually when we, when we did Darius um class I think um when you're first starting out, you might not have a budget to pay employees, mm -hmm. but there's ways around that. Um, equity partnerships, like it's nothing wrong with that as far as if somebody's going to add tremendous value, like even us. So it's like me and Troy, we was the original founding members of Earn Your Leisure. But then our third partner, Mike, we knew that he added a lot of value because he did like video, he does, aud he does audio, he does like editing, all kinds of stuff. So we knew at the time we didn't really have a budget to pay somebody. It would have been like thousands of dollars a month. So we like, I, we know him personally, he's a friend of ours. So we could just bring him in as a partner. Like you're not going to get paid, but you have equity. So when this thing, you know, and when, it, when it blows up, yeah. you want to be a partner in it. And it was a win-win for everybody because now you know, he's a partner, but he provided a, a value that yeah. we needed early and didn't have a budget for, but he did it for free because he actually, he knew that, you know what I'm saying? Like he was going to be, he's a partner in the business yeah. and he came on early on. So don't, don't always um, look at that as an obstacle as well, because it, and then internships, absolutely. there's ways like, you know what I'm saying? Especially for young people, um, you know, never discount the value of an internship. Young people always looking for experience. So even if you don't have money to pay somebody, there's other ways to actually have help um, that can actually help your business yeah. grow. And when they feel like they're part of something, they're gonna work harder because they're invested in it, right? Like they feel like there's ownership in there, especially when it's an equity play. It's like, yo, I'm gonna make sure this works. I'm gonna dedicate myself to this because the returns could be great. And so like that, and that's one of the things that Shadi always stresses, like, yo, just stay down. Everybody just stay down, stay down, stay down. Everybody is coming, we're gonna get this right. And so yeah, equity is one of those things that you can do. And like I said, when somebody knows that they invested in it and there could be a potential return, they're gonna give it their all. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you. Can we go to the young lady from Brooklyn? Oh, uh, she here? Da, 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 da. Hi, Shadi. Hi. Allison, what's going on? Unmute yourself. You've been unmuted. I gotta say the whole thing. Allison from Brooklyn. <laughs> Allison from Brooklyn. You gotta, gotta say, say the whole thing. I gotta say the whole thing. Allison, what's going on? I'm all right, man. I'm here chilling in my, my childhood bedroom, waiting to complete my move. That's the pink wall or the purple wall? The, the pink and the purple. That's it. <laughs> I saw you on IG. I loved it. Yeah, Allison, <laughs> I wanted yeah. to bring Allison on for a couple minutes. Um, I don't know if you got a question for Derek, but she has a really dope story. She's working with Matt and it's a really inspiring story. So can you just tell that story briefly, like in a, in a, in a couple minutes? Because I saw the Instagram and that was really dope. And it's the power of, of networking. And that's one of the things we do at EYL University, and like to, to link with somebody like Matt, who is on the road with DJ Envy and all of that. And he's like a, you know, a superstar in a mortgage game. So talk about talk about your experience briefly, if you could. Sure, I'll, I'll make it as quick as possible. If I over talk, cut me off. Don't feel bad about it. So in essence, um, how it all started. I've been looking for a house to buy for almost the last two years. Initially, I was looking in Yonkers, and then I was in a position to buy in Brooklyn. So in January, early January, I'm going through my timeline. I'm looking on my Explore page, and I happen to see DJ Envy just pop up on the screen, and he's doing an interview, and it's not in the normal Power 105.1 studio. So I click on it, and I notice that he's doing an interview uh, with you guys. So I'm like, okay, who are these guys? What are they about? I'm listening to the interview. I like what I'm hearing. I'm, I'm liking you guys' energy and effort and what you're doing for the community and the service that you provide. So I said, you know what? I'm going to check out the podcast. Start listening to the podcast again, liking what I'm hearing. I said, you know what? They keep talking about this Patreon thing. I don't know what Patreon is about. I can't even spell it. I Google it. And I said, <laughs> I want to contribute. I want these guys to know that they're supported. So I became a Patreon member. I continue to listen and I'm going back now because I had to listen to old episodes and I hear there's an episode from um, Miss Business 101. I went to high school with her. All right. These guys are in my circle. They're in my frame. I like this. Then I hear the episode from Matt and the way that you guys spoke, the way that Matt spoke, it was just so down to earth, so real. You guys always talk about, you know, wearing your hoodies, but you're, you're kicking game and you're just given the kind of information in the way that folks can understand, don't let it go over your head. 
you always have the hip hop references. I'm a hip hop head from Brooklyn. So I'm like, these are definitely the kinds of people I want to surround myself with. So I decided to contact Matt. I uh, contacted him. I'm doing my house stuff. So that's me and my and me and Matt doing our house thing. And I'm continuing to vibe with you guys, follow you on social media, listening to every episode. And um, again, really just wanting to support you. It really wasn't even about self-development on my end. But because I loved you guys so much, I said, you know, I'm going to join this EYL joint. So I think I paid $197 back in March, joined. So every week that comes up when there's an exclusive episode or exclusive interview that's just for us, exclusive class that's just for us EYL folks, and when you guys are, on, are going live on Instagram, and when you guys are going live on YouTube, I have to, I have to be a part of it. Every single episode has to be down. So this particular um, class was specific for EYL. It was hosted by Matt, and he was interviewing a woman from... I don't know the name of the organization. Is it Sony May, Sony Ma? I don't know how you say it, right? Every time I, I hear Ma, I think Dipset. Anywho, <laughs> Sony May, Sony Ma, something like that. So, and, and in essence, what he explained is that if you live, if you live and you're purchasing a home in the state of New York, you're a first time home buyer, you have the opportunity to get up to $15,000 towards the purchase of your home. All you have to do is to make sure that you're working with a, um, a banker who has a relationship with the organization, Sony May, Sony Ma, and request it. That's all you have to do, boom. So the class is over, this was May 14th. I sent my email to Matt, hey Matt, we're already working together, but I'm formally requesting as per the class that you just completed so, so that I can be eligible for this grant. He responded, got you, got you, period. That was the last time we spoke on it. So I'm looking for a house, this deal's falling apart. Looking for another house, this deal's falling apart. Finally, I find my crib, it's in Canarsie, I'm hype. Um, I'm, I'm getting married by this time. So me and my husband are hype, we're planning everything. And then now it's like the day before closing. So I'm like, yo, like how much was like, what's the deal with the closing? Like what's the closing cost gonna be? I'm not really sure. There's been some, you know, it just wasn't clear to me. So I hit Matt up, I'm like, yo Matt, I just wanna make sure I have all my ducks in a row. I don't wanna mess up this closing. How much money do I have to bring to the close? Cause no one's really clearly stated that to me. So he says, uh, I think you get a little bread back. I'm not really sure, but you know, you should call a lawyer and clarify. So I said, cool. So I called the lawyer's office. They said, hey, Allison, how's everything? Good, good, good. Um, I need to know, I need to have my money ready. How much is the closing? What, what do I need to bring? She said, actually you're getting some money back. So how much? She said, oh, you getting back $16,000. I said, what? 16k I said well where the 16k came from well she said well you paid a little bit over a little thousand dollars over and some other thing but you're getting fifteen thousand dollars from Sony bond so that's so, it so 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 in, 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 so in, in a sense a hundred and ninety seven dollar investment in your education got you information to really buy a home and also sixteen thousand dollars really in, yes in I invested one hundred and ninety seven dollars with you guys because I liked you that's dope. And I said, I want to learn a little bit more. I was, you know, and of course, as a result, I've learned tremendously, like besides the 16K, but I said, I liked your energy. I liked, I just liked your, your presentation and your realness and your rawness. And you guys remind me of myself, you know, like we're, we're formally educated, but we still get a little rough around the edge, especially Matt. Real rough around the edges. Especially Matt. Oh, so you know him. Especially Matt. <laughs> well, I feel like I, I feel like I know all of y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I especially like that's Matt. How, that's an amazing job that you guys do. So I invested 197 off GP in March and I made that 70 times fold by September. That's amazing. By, yeah. by listening. And now I've listened to all the classes, but this particular class is what I listen to. Well, that's what the and thing. Oh, mm -hmm. I, well, I appreciate that. And um, that's the thing as far as education, you never know. One, that's what I'm saying. Like one class literally made her 17 and even more than 17,000 because that's actually like how she really got the home. So it's like $197 to listen to one class. And that's just one class. Mm -hmm. We do classes every single week. Sometimes multiple every, classes in a week. So every I just week. I just I'm going um, I'm to I'm try to get a couple more questions in before before um, Derek has to head out. But hey, thank, Allison. You, thank you, Allison. I appreciate we that. Appreciate that, you. Was, that was inspiring when I saw it. So, so I, talk, I, I text you personally, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you this too. We're going to help you with this, the stock market too. Cause I, I heard you say like, yeah, it's a little over my head. We're going to make sure. So how, keep, keep following us on market Mondays. How's, how's your experience? Would you recommend EYL university for people that's not involved? Man, come on now. That's, that's, that's not even a question worth asking. <laughs> if this thing is this amazing. And I, like I said, like the 16 K 
that was a come up, but I'm sure that any person can make their money back by listening to one course, by listening to one Market Monday. It is a breeze. The service that you guys are providing is amazing. And thank you brothers for what you do for our community. It's yeah, unmatched. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Allison. Thank you. And congrats on the home. And rest in thank peace you. to Pop. Rest in peace to Pop Smoke. Yeah, shout out to Brooklyn. Hey, you see I got Jay up there, right? Oh yeah, I see him. <laughs> I, I see the mob deep. Like, oh, that's for him. That's, that's, that's his favorite album. I'll put that in. I'll, <laughs> yeah, Allison, love is love. Shout out to Brooklyn, love man. That's our, that's our biggest market, man. Shout out to Canarsie, the floss, home of pop smoke. Rest in peace, man. Big fan. Um, Brooklyn, always Look, loving Brooklyn. Let's go to Andre. Andre, unmute yourself. You've been unmuted. You ever been to Brooklyn, Derek? Yeah, yeah. Uh, my my pops from Harlem, so I, I spent a lot of time in NY on it. Okay, okay. Yo, what's good, guys? What's going what's on? What's going on, Andre? I just wanted to thank everybody for doing what y'all do, man. Y'all real motivational, inspirational to me, so. I appreciate what y'all doing. Appreciate, appreciate you. you, man. I got a question for Derek, man. Derek, yo, we met, Um, you actually um bought one of my books. I write children books on financial literacy. Uh, and uh, I wanted to take it to the next level. Where we met, bro? Uh, it was North New Jersey at uh, La Rouge Lounge. La Rouge, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with you? Yeah, man, so when I met you, I was only one book in, but now I got 10 books. I got books on credit, oh, yeah. life insurance, and I've been just busting it open. Oh, yeah, bro. You plan, bro. Pause, pause, pause. That was like a year ago, bro. Yeah, that was about a year ago. Pause. Yes, I've been working. I was with Merrill Lynch at the time. Um, and um, they were trying to stop my they were trying to stop me, so I ended up leaving them. Yeah, yeah. But um, now I'm trying to take it to the next level. So I want to know what advice do you have to like just turn up with these books? All right, bro. Uh so look. Uh, I would say bundle them. I would say create a course. And I would say if, even, even if not a course, bro, you could create paid classes to where you go into deeper explanations or you, or you give further information on what you're talking about in each book. And then, bro, I would also say uh, you sell them digital as well or you just straight- Yeah, I got, I got digital books. I, I did some flashcards and I'm doing a bundle now um, where you could get like five books in a box. Um, so I'm like trying to set, cause you know, with 10 books and you know this better than anybody, like giving financial literacy to like people to understand isn't easy. So I'm trying to do it, break it down so I could do an animation book. So when parents are teaching their kids or reading the books to their kids, they're learning as well. Andre, uh, who, uh, are you self-published? Yeah. Have you uh, tried to approach any school districts about it? Yeah, man. Like I actually learned from the budget Nista about cracking open the codes with, um, Flooding them with getting the um, like bigger orders. Books. What's, your, what, what's your book called? People on YouTube is asking, what's the book called? Uh, first book is Decide Money Adventure. Um, Davion Makes Sense of Saving Sense. Then I got Nat and May's College Accounts Back to Tax the First Savings Accounts, 529 Plans. Then we got a book on uh, the NASDAQ. It's about all the dictionary terms on the NASDAQ so people could get that what's financial. Your, what's, your, what's your website? What's your website? Children to wealth.com. Children to wealth.com. Derek, you actually on the website, so check it out. Yeah. <laughs> on the book. <laughs> hey, hey, bro, check this out. This is crazy. Look at this. I'm going to show you something. Andre, while you looking, I'm going to tell you, uh, in, in New York here, especially in New York City, uh, if you want to get into a school, a lot of times you just have to get a vendor's license. So Yeah, I got that. I got that. So, so once you get in into the schools, now when you speak, you can bring the books. I think that that'd be a perfect segue for it. Absolutely. Yeah, it's just with COVID, like the schools thing just kind of like- Right, right, right now, out. right now, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, but definitely once it turns, I think that's a, that's a great segue. Go ahead, Derek. Bro, when you was in the chat earlier, Andre, like, bro, I, I didn't even realize that was you, remember you meeting from Newark, but I literally took a picture of when you typing in your website, I was like, yeah, when I hop off of your children, the web, that sound like something I'm into. Yo, that's it's crazy, crazy. you on the website, check it out. You're definitely on the website. I got you next to Grant Cardone, cause y'all was like the first two supporters when I, when I dropped the first book and now I'm 10 books in and I'm yeah. trying to be the black Dr. Seuss of it. Cause when I see children books, there's really no representation of black kids. And that's really what making kids not really um, be into it. Cause they don't see no representation of themselves. So it's a big fact. I'm trying to do a hundred. Wow, that's crazy that you, that's crazy that you remember that Derek, as far as like actually took the screenshot and could find the screenshot and all that. When, when was that? When did y'all meet? Like a year ago. 
Like yeah, bro, that, that was a, that was over a year ago, bro. I mean, salute to you, bro, for being on your tenth book because I know it's that that's bro, incredible. What talking about, I got it right here, right here in my library. I got yeah, it. Yeah, I know you. You support it. I, I fuck with you for that. Like, what's your what's your what's your, what's your, what's your Instagram? Uh, at King at King Derricott. Can you put D-E-R-R. it? E R R. Type type it in. Yeah, type, just type type, it. type it in the chat, bro. Yeah. Type it in the chat. We and gonna, then, we and gonna, gonna copy and paste it. Put it in, in YouTube and put all that. Put it in YouTube and all that. And put your put your website and your um your Instagram. Oh, there, go right there. I see it. Yeah, keep doing your thing, man. Especially EYL, yo. I really appreciate it. It's like divine intervention when everything just aligns. And so I definitely, and um, my guy, uh, Brandon, Brandon the Resumes. That's actually, that's actually my guy. He actually told me to um, link up with y'all. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, that's our guy. That's our business partner. Speaking event. It's funny, I was doing a speaking event and he was still actually working. And um, at that event, it kind of motivated to him to like do his own uh, resume thing. And now looking at him now, it's like, it's, this EYL really works. <laughs> yeah, nah, yeah, I, I yeah. Brand, Brandon's story that. is crazy because he he uh found us on Patreon too, and just like he was like, "Yo, I, yeah, he put out a tear that we had to speak to him, and we had this hour conversation. We we're just blown away by it. And I'm like, "Yo, we need to make this kid our business partner." So shout out to everybody that's come through Patreon. Like I said, it is a is a great networking tool, and a lot of people are getting access to EYL University through that. So shout out to everybody that's on Patreon, YouTube. I'm putting his Instagram in here right now. Yeah, let's take one more question. I appreciate y'all. Keep doing what y'all do. I nah, appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Congratulations too. Ten books. That's uh. That's that's yeah. bro. That's work. That's, that's a tremendous work ethic. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Not stop it, man. We now we trying to get to hundred. <laughs> I hear that, man. That's a fact. He said the black doctor suits now. He he the new Andre. That's it. Uh, let's see who we got. Let's get. Let's go to the name we ain't seen. Uh, thousand, do this. Thousand one hundred. Let's yeah. Let's a do thousand, that. Thousand 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 Yo, what's up, fellas? What's, what's going on? on? What's up, bro? Man, nothing, man. I'm um uh, like my man's. I tap in with uh with DG. I'm in a post Trump. Post Trump. And uh, in the streets, hey, man. Hey, hey, the post Trump is street, ain't it? Hey, you gotta just jump in sometimes when you're hungry. <laughs> but that's why I rock with it. He said you gotta be hungry. Jump in will be a <laughs> jump in will be a casualty, man. Don't play around. You gotta be hungry, but um, yeah. Just just uh, want to thank y'all real quick and uh, just a quick question. Man, I feel like um, like everything I got going on is like, y'all ever seen one of the machines called like a coin pusher? Um, and you just like, with all the coins on the end, you keep putting quarters in, trying to get everything to fall off. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm like in that space, man, and where I got a bunch of ventures going off and, and like trying to get it popping and like trying to start a food truck. Got a girl, got a meal prep business. I got the media company that I'm doing. So I love to do some stuff for y'all, man. I'm in, I'm in uh, Pittsburgh, so I could fly out, you know what I'm saying, or drive out either way, rock with y'all, man, do some, you know, any video stuff y'all need. Oh, you, you, you had the question for Dame Dash before, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember you. I remember you. Yeah, so I'm, I'm like a question asker. I'm popping up on everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my question was for DG, man. What's, it's kind of in a different lane, but what's like your favorite, like 300 blackout? Because um, I'm looking... To, you know what I'm saying? Get some, one of those. So I'm just trying to find the best brand. I like the, the Daniel Defense joint. So I've been looking at that, but I just wanted to get your take on it. Bro, I only have one 300 blackout and I don't even have it on me. My uh, my dude who cleaned my guns, he got it right now because the first time we shot it, it actually had a, it didn't misfire, but one of the shells, the round came out, but the shell got stuck in the chamber. But um. Uh, but no, nah, bro, that's, I, I've only got one. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I don't got like a lot of experience with them, period. What I will say, bro, like my favorite gun, period, is gonna be the uh, Springfield Hellcat, super compact. It holds 13 to 14. Yeah. Definitely get a job done. Got you, got you. And uh, for for uh, for Shad and Troy, man, y'all need to get get somebody on that, that deal with food trucks, man. I'm looking to jump off into a heavy, man. We have, yeah, we have, we have, it's, 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 it's archived. Derek um, Falcon, that's actually, one of my favorite episodes of all time. He did a mastermind class for EYL University. Oh, you got to check that he out. He has food trucks. He also opened a vegan, um, a it's vegan open donut it. place. It's on its way. It's on and, its way. And, and he got a restaurant in Baltimore. He did a he did, did a class on that actually. It's on EYL University. Yeah, uh, July. It was the July first class. Okay, gotta check yeah, it out. I, I, yeah, I'm about to go in there and check yeah. it out. Yeah, man. July first like class. I said, I'm definitely, I'm going to be linking with y'all in about a year or so. Y'all going to say, man, this dude, like he said, this, this whole thing is just like divine intervention. Everybody being on. Logging in and getting to it, so you know what I'm saying. I appreciate y'all. Y'all yeah, look both to gonna it, see me in the future, baby. <laughs> I look forward to nah, it. I appreciate you, man. Yes, sir. Derek, 
Derek, it's a pleasure, man. Always, always a pleasure, man. Um, I'm glad we got a chance to, to connect. Anytime we get a chance to connect, it's always, it's always a, a motion picture event, yeah, we, man. And we got to come to Tampa, right? We coming down there. Yeah, bro. You, hey, you know the world opening back up, man. We got. <laughs> yeah, they got. Now, what do the what do the people need to know on your end, man? Um, bro, I'm I'm just a couple quick things I want to share. What's well, really one thing, but it's just four different segments, y'all. Moving forward, y'all. I urge everybody to, whether it's to make an investment, sharpen your arm, whatever you got to do. Four elements that I, I like to heavily practice in is self-love, self-education, self-awareness, and self-preservation. You feel me? So be training your families to understand the economical game. I mean, the finance game, all games of life. And like, I'm, I'm, I'm just huge, y'all, on, um, on preventative maintenance. We understand what's looming outside. We understand how the market looking, how, how... Everything, y'all, like it's it's plain and center. Uh, social media is a great tool to, for, like, if you don't go outside, or somebody like me don't go outside and watch TV, you could definitely get on the ground, spend thirty minutes, you're gonna get a good vibe of what the world looking like right now. So, I mean, I just urge everybody to just buckle up, put themselves in an advantageous position. I'm not into politics whatsoever, but I think we're gonna have another set of very interesting four years ahead of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I urge everybody, man. Two things I tell everybody is either. Uh, invest in people who know things you don't know and attach yourself to things that's going to teach you information. You feel me? That you, you, you wouldn't have known under any other circumstances. That's why I like, I got a huge library and that's why I nurtured a relationship with individuals like EYL because they know a lot of pertinent information that a lot of people don't know, but that'd be the biggest thing, bro. Just, Hey, and I, I'm going to tell everybody, like I told y'all before, uh, self-love and self-awareness going to be the top. I'm sorry, self-love and self-education because when you know who you are, and you know your worth, you feel me? Nobody can handle you anyway. And when you get a, a individual perspective on how the life, I'm sorry, how the world work around you, nobody can lead you astray. And my honest opinion, most of us falling off these days due to traditionalism. We real deal looking at a blueprint that our, that didn't work for our granny. And we just gonna rewrite the world in 2020 and hope for the win. So everybody in here, if y'all not in EYL University, I would definitely advise y'all to, 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 to make that investment. I mean, if you, you may wanna call it a risk, whatever you wanna call it. It's about that time to jump. You know, I tell everybody, like, your oppressors are never going to give you the tools to overthrow them. And if 2020 ain't taught you nothing, uh, our country is really, to me, our country is more like a survival of the fittest mode. It ain't, they're they not really functioning off character, morality, or sympathy. You either got it together or you don't, or you and your family going to end up, you know, doing a struggle thing for the next 20, 30 years. The game ain't getting no more simplified. It's only turning up even more. It's been fair. That's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact. It's a, it's a, it's a self education is the only thing that can save you at this point. Yeah, man. Because um, even schools is closing, colleges is closing, Corona. Yeah, so, self education yeah. is the only thing that can save you. So, EYL, EYL University, the new school, man. Yeah, and, and no matter what you, you know, no matter where you go for education, just educate yourself. Plain and simple. We think that we have one of the best platforms out there at a price that's tremendously undervalued, but. No matter what, just educate yourself. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, that's the most important thing. Cause it's like, it's really, it's cliche to say, but it's priceless. It's really priceless. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, information is really priceless. And it, it could like literally yeah. change your life overnight. We, so. we had a conversation about that yesterday. Like you learn something that stays with you for a lifetime. So that's what we're trying to do. You give you a bunch of information that can carry you and carry your family for generations. Yeah, for sure, man. So, I, you know, I just wanted to thank you again publicly. You know, anytime that we, we get to link, I always enjoy it. Derek's one of my favorite people that we've had on, on, the, on the program. And um, yeah, anybody on YouTube, man, if you like this, this is just a sample of what we do. We do this every single week. Like I said, we got 70 past classes, which is archived. Once you're part, you can be, you can look, binge watch all of them. Um, weekly classes every single week. We got bi-weekly real estate classes. We got a movie club, book club, Facebook investment group. Mm -hmm. I do uh, monthly financial planning calls. It's coming up. Um, and just for like that, like, you know, as a consultation. That's major. That's major. Yeah. No, no, that's crazy. The call is crazy. No, nah, but the crazy thing about it, like just for like what I was talking about earlier, like for consultation, I could charge $500 for an hour for a consultation. I definitely could charge 250 for an hour. So it's like, you know, just if you really look at it from that standpoint, one hour of that, is worth your whole entire year's membership. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's a lot of stuff that we just try to add value to. And as I said, um, midnight, the price will be changed. The price won't change, but the discount's gonna go away. Yeah. So it's not gonna be 50% anymore. Yeah. So if you're interested, you have a couple of hours, like three hours until midnight tonight, um, enter promo code fall at EYL University once October 1st starts, which is in a couple of hours. 
It's a night new, night. It's, it's a new deal. Yeah, and I see, I see some people. I see some people jumped in from YouTube and now are in our chat. So anybody that joined or recently joined, uh, we're gonna have an orientation class on the thirteenth of October. October thirteenth. That is at a Tuesday at seven. So we're gonna walk you through everything you need to know to be a part of the university. I know it's a lot of content and people trying to figure out which which should I start. We're gonna walk you through that. All right. It's just gonna be just like school, right? You get your syllabus. We're gonna give you orientation. And you can start as a freshman. We know y'all used to school, so we're not going to make it too unfamiliar. <laughs> what were you about to say, Dirk? Well, I was going to tell him, it's officially the fourth quarter in two hours, y'all. Hey. That's a fact. That's a fact. Hey, hey, we need some championship ring. We got to end the season right. Yeah, January I, I like, be here I, in no I like, time. Shout out to Meek. I seen Meek put a post. He said the fourth quarter is for um, superstar uh, championships. Like, fourth quarter is for star players. That's what he said. Fourth quarter is for star players. So... This is the time to perform, man. Like all of the star players, whether it's Kobe, rest in peace, LeBron, like, they always perform in the fourth. You yeah. can you could take like three quarters off, but once the fourth quarter comes, it's, oh, it's, it's that, no time. That's what separates. Yeah, that's a fact, bro. God's I'm, amongst men. I'm talking about Marvin for the fourth quarter. We Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, oh, before we shout out to Jamal, he's here. He uh, hosts our, our Wednesday class, so Jamal's here. Shout out yeah, to him. Shout out to Jamal. It's a big for fan sure, for sure. So. All right, DG, man, we're not going to hold you, bro. I appreciate it. Anything right, you ever bro. need from us, you know, we got you, man. Appreciate you. All right, bro. Appreciate y'all. Yes, All sir. Right, EYL, Earners, we love y'all. Y'all know how we rock. We got uh, Breaking Bread on Sunday. Sunday is and Break Bread. You, the movie, you want to talk about the, the, new, the new book? When's the new book? New Sorry. book is uh, going to be in a month, right? So we just came off. We just finished uh, The Color of Money uh, last week. We're going to do a movie in two weeks, and then we're going to start our new book, uh, Money Master the Game. And we might have a, we might have uh, Mr. Uh, Ian, Ian Dunlap gotta, as, a, as a guest visitor. Gotta, gotta do that. <laughs> He's promoted it so much. Gotta uh, do that. Yeah, it'll be dope. It's gonna be dope. October seventeenth is my next financial planning um, conversation. Saturday. October seventeenth at twelve p.m. Eastern Standard Time for EYL University. So we'll send a Zoom link out and all of that. But <laughs> yeah, and big shout out to Janet. Everybody sees people typing Janet. Yes, shout out to Janet. If you are part of EYL University, if you're part of the investment group, you know who Janet is. Shout out to her. She makes sure everything is working and everybody is taken care of. And so she relates a lot of messages to us. And so uh, we appreciate you, Janet. Um, so everything that we just spoke about will be on the calendar. Uh, it'll be uh, in the announcements and all that. So don't worry. It'll be there. She's, yeah. she, she's got it covered. Shout out to uh, Troy's wife, Danielle Millens, on the check-in. I see she she commented. What's she at? Oh, there she go. Oh, look at her. Uh, Love you. <laughs> yeah, shout out. Shout out to shout out to everybody, man, and and uh, people on EYL University. All of the content will be posted on on at two days after. That's new policy that we have. Two days after, it will be on the website. Um, you can just go on the website and you can check it out if you missed the class. Um, and that includes the break bread. That includes the book club, and that includes my class. And then for anybody that's on YouTube that's trying to figure out how to use the code, you go to the end at the checkout. It's the very last thing that you do at checkout. So you have to enter all your information. And then at checkout, you see a coupon. And then the coupon, you enter fall, F-A-L-L, 50% off. And that is good for three more hours. You got three more hours or two more hours. You got two more hours, two, two more hours until when the, when the clock hits midnight, like Cinderella, the slipper goes away. Um, <laughs> you can still join just at a, you know, at a higher price point. So uh, we love you. We love you. We're going to love you either way. We're going to love you more. Yeah, somebody actually. said, what's Breaking Bread? Breaking Bread is a session with our brother, MG, the mortgage guy. It's a real estate. I I can't even call it a class. It's an open forum. I know they did a marathon the other day. They did, did four, four hours. Four hours. Dude. Just even that, like, you know, to, to have a conversation with Matt for four hours, you know how much he would charge you for that? Like, <laughs> no points. Like people charge a thousand dollars for a consultation. Like that's a lot. Like, so check us out, man. But we appreciate you guys. Um, We'll be back. Uh, market Monday. Mondays, yeah, Monday, and then also, like I said, episodes. We got a bunch of episodes, and the classes that we got: how to start a marijuana business in two thousand dollars is coming up. How to invest in real estate in the UK and Africa that's coming up. Yep. And we got a bunch of other stuff coming up as well. So big things, big things. Check you guys out, man. Yo, appreciate y'all. Shout out to Nasir. Shout out to Christian. Shout out to Jordan. We love you. Shout out to Chase. Shout out to Zuri and all the kids that are part of EYL. We love y'all. Yeah. Have a good night, y'all. Can you just put, I'm going to put the link in YouTube oh, one, more time. one last time. All right, for, any, for any last late minute people. Hopefully they sleep and they got yeah. school tomorrow. That's the code uh, for, and uh, we'll see you. See you guys later, man. Peace. Yeah, love is love, y'all. Peace.